Don't have Joe on the show anymore. Are you asking my opinion? Yeah. I think Joe's on too much. Whoa! Oh, Christ wow. What is oh, this? Oh, Egypt? Wow. Try it. Go, Go deliver your fucking papers and get somebody uh, coffee that's not, or do that's whatever not the funny. fuck you're you do. I'm not Bill, trying to get be out funny. of here while you can. Go <laughs> fucking do what you do. If you're, you're such you're not a fucking funny. DJ, go be a DJ. If you're not a fucking DJ, then work in radio. But don't fetch coffee during the day and DJ Who's at night coffee? and then come in I, here. I sit in a production like, studio and work in Pro Tools all day. What do you do? What do you do? Coffee. I do all the imaging that's on this fucking channel. Oh my God, Troy. Oh Jesus. Jesus. The Joe. imaging? Yeah, that's what I That's my job. What yeah. does that even mean? That's like coffee. Of course you don't computer. know what the fuck that means. What does that mean, Joe? Wow, uh, Bill Burr's why, in studio. Why is the part-time rapper screaming at the part-time DJ? Oh! oh. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa. either be a fucking comedian or be a rapper. Troy, oh, oh, shit. Troy's bring it. Joe, Troy. it's too early to be yelling like this. Troy's <laughs> got a problem with the yeah, yeah, coming in with thing, Bill. Yeah, Troy's he's got a problem. By the way. He's coming in with his problem. Yeah, uh, yeah, see you too, Dave. Bill, let me explain really fast. These two went at it, a, I don't know, a month or two ago and made fun of how each other dresses. And it was a funny little bit. Everyone laughed, and it was a little ugly, but we got through it. But uh, Troy Kwan is still holding a grudge. So we we invited him in here today to try to find out why and the fuck is he holding a grudge. And he's holding his ground like a man, though. You and now he's, that. now he's saying that Joe DeRose is not funny. He said about funny. He's he's on a, the show he too, said too much. He's a faggot. So he saw him <laughs> sucking a guy's cock out the, by the dumpster. I can see that. I can see all of uh, it. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I hope he asked my opinion. I gave it. That's what it is. Oh, I mean, Troy, I get it. Troy, you wear it on your sleeve. Troy, you, you don't know, pull any punches. I get ta it. You talking know? to Kenny about interrogation, he's letting me know that yeah. the way he's standing is a very defensive. Very exactly. defensive. Yet Troy Kwan, arms crossed. He's angry. Well, Joe, because you're attacking his dream here. I mean, I came in in the middle of it. You just sound like a very mean, mean spirit. You missed the part where he said I wasn't funny, Easy, that Bill he doesn't Clinton get how I'm a Burr. comic. You missed all that. I mean, that was a retort. Troy doesn't even know how he makes money in comedy. That was a fucking retort. That's, that's the yeah. truth. Oh, man. Do you really not know, Troy? many times and he's very funny. Do you really not know, Troy? Because you I told know. me I was funny up until I made fun of your fucking stupid shoes. Uh, now, I, I, don't know, I don't know if I've ever told you that you were funny. Uh, Troy, I don't know if I've ever thought Have you ever told anybody that wasn't a 19-year-old hipster trick that you were trying to finger in the back of a fucking dance? Oh, 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 Joe. Joe. Oh, Joe. Jesus. Hey, now, come on. Now, that fucking... Now, I'm getting insulted there, Joe. Wow, Joe, that was a little too much, I'm sorry, I didn't yeah, do that. Come wow. on now. <laughs> okay. Troy, comment. I don't even know what he, I wasn't even paying attention. They said you're trying you to go. figure it. That's what it is, communication. <laughs> <laughs> Troy, you're, Troy, you you're working got, radio. You got to, you know. You guys have to go on a zip line trip somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I don't see why there's such a big thing. You guys, like, are both two, you know, dudes, like, New York. I figured you guys would go out and hit the scene. Look, here's why there's a thing, is because we fucked around. I apologized to him three times a day. And Troy, I would say, got the fucking better of me that day on the show. Oh, absolutely. I, I went after oh, him. Boy. It's just... Hey. Uh, Dr. Steve got the best of you the last time you were on. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I mean, what is that? I mean, no offense to Dr. Here. Steve, but... Wow. Yeah, Joe. What's this world coming to? Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> Let me finish my point, because this guy's such a fucking hot-headed little girl that you can't even wow. fuck As opposed nice to one. the even-keeled even... Joe DeRosa. <laughs> <Can't> even... <laughs> Joe DeRosa. You walked in, Joe fucking was screaming. <laughs> four hours sleep. Oh, yeah, I wanted to go back to bed when I heard that. <laughs> DJ and in a Best Buy isn't fucking. I'm like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Just want to come in and say hi to the guys. Yeah, have a fucking uh, breakfast sandwich, Joe. Well, here's the let Joe OJ. finish his point. Here's my Joe. point. This is why I'm fucking worked up about it. Is because this is why I'm hot. We <laughs> under the caller. We we did the thing. And again, admit, I'm admitting, I'm saying Troy got the fucking better of me that day. And I even said on the fucking air multiple times, Troy, I came at you for no reason. We, you know how it is. Sometimes you want to trash people and you just, I just came after you. I shouldn't have done that. And he can't let it go. Yeah, I can't. He can't let it go. So that's fine that he can't let it go. I wasn't screaming at you when you walked in here because you couldn't let it go. I started fucking yelling at you because you're sitting there now taking shots at my fucking livelihood and trying to get me off the fucking show. Uh -huh. What kind of fucking man are well, you? Seriously, well, first man. of all, like I said, Opie asked my opinion. And I asked, I said, do you want to know my opinion? That's my opinion. I know. I love it. Wow. <laughs> all this is then, oh, oh, I forgot. And the biggest bitch move of all and is you're when taking, you fucking... You're taking shots at my livelihood, so go fuck yourself. After 
after you took shots at mine, dude. You're going to dish it <laughs> out. Stop taking shots take at each other's hey. livelihoods. Take a knee, ladies. That's Nate. Take a knee. Exactly. Oh, and by the way, Josh, don't point at me in my livelihood. Don't you point at me in my livelihood. Who the fuck says livelihood? My livelihood. Is this Boardwalk Empire? What's going on? We got to move that hooch. By the way. And you come in here and you're taking shots at my livelihood. By the way. You're going to get that tattooed on your arm, you fucking moron. Holy shit. You Why don't you do you Why don't you go after him a little bit? Why are you coming at me? Because you're the one I heard screaming yeah, when I came in here. Yeah, and you missed the first half of He's it. He's keeping his composure. That's right. Bad He's first impression. Snap this guy. His oh, tattoos bro. are more colorful. You're right, because you never scream ever, bro. You're <laughs> wow. a real quiet guy. <laughs> Joe, if anybody knows. This time. <laughs> Nick, Joe, you, you've been yelling livelihood at like 8, 19 in the morning. Here's my What's point. What's wrong with you? As soon as he said, levity lies. Joe, I don't care. As soon as he said. I don't said, care. He, sit down, Joe. It got ugly as Let's soon as he make said fun of that he wouldn't go after events. a guy like Patrice. <laughs> <laughs> that he wouldn't go after a guy like Patrice, but he'd come after a guy like me. That's a fucking bullshit show. this is supposed to be an ex enjoyable experience. It mm. is. I'm having a great time. You're, you're Obviously. It. Joe the most frightening. Sudden, by the way, for you listeners, Joe uh, <laughs> bolted to his feet at a certain point in this conversation. Yeah. You just bolted to your feet. Yeah. I'm sitting back down. That's I because thought there was going to be a fight. Somebody was attacking yeah, like, his livelihood. <laughs> jo Joe, yeah. is Troy wearing the proper sneakers today? Look, I'm not going to add fuel to the fire, okay? You don't like, like him, though? Fuel to the fire and it's like, uh, your livelihood. It's <laughs> fuel to the God damn it. Why don't you two just use a little elbow Joe. grease and try to Joe's patch things this. up? Joe's been yelling for 45 minutes and then goes, I'm he's, not going to add fuel to the fire. He yeah. should have wrote a book on puns. Yeah, look at you. What's How about this, guys? That's not a pun. Fellers. Mm. Fuel to the fire. Mm. Fellers. Now, <laughs> now I'm embarrassed. Huh? If we take you right. two... <laughs> Awkward. And you and we and we just tie your like legs or arms together in some kind of Star Trek kind of Star fight. Trek. With just one new oh. iPhone. Right. And you have to beat the other guy to death with it. Would you do it? Oh, no. But the winner doesn't get the you wouldn't do it. No. 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 Okay, good. No. I don't think that's right. Can we have okay, closing statements? I love all this fake seriousness here. By the way, this is what's wrong with today's comedy. <laughs> no, okay? I was I was no, honestly, I'm just saying if you go to any comedy club in America right now, this is happening to some degree, which yeah. is like Somebody taking a comment way too seriously, and then the comic having to defend way too hard, and then back and forth, and uh, you know, and then it gets way too serious sounding. Yeah, there you well, go. Dude, I, like, I actually I'm, think they're just reading like a Twitter argument. Like I don't yeah, think yeah, this yeah, is yeah, any yeah, dialogue. Yeah, Transcripts from a <laughs> Twitter <laughs> argument. I'm not gonna lie, I'm fucking pissed off. Yeah, it's it's like when a guy when a guy comes in and goes goes, hey man, I don't fucking take shit with this with this brash attitude, and then says, uh, well, I wouldn't go at Patrice because you know you pick your battles. That's fucking bitch shit. Okay, he's coming in here, he's trying to bitch me out. He's fucking telling you guys I'm on the show too much. He's trying to fuck with me, and it's bullshit. I fucking apologize to you like a man, and if you had a fucking problem with it that day, you should have told me you had a problem with it that fucking day. Well, it's stewed with me a little bit. And, you stewed around and here you like know a what? little girl for fucking two months about if it. If you're so confident in your fucking comedic abilities, what does my opinion matter? Troy, it's just it's just something you don't do. Why? It's like some, it's like a customer that goes and complains and goes, "I want my money back. I'm offended. I don't like the taste of these wings. Can I have my money back?" It's what? just well, fucking if the people asking, what, what, do you, what do you think about these wings? Quiet. And you give your opinion about it. Right. Obi, ask my opinion. I don't think you're funny. I, use I don't my know why you don't think I'm funny <laughs> since I fuck with you that day. I, I do. You've come I don't to know my show. I really ever thought you've said anything funny on you've the show. You've come to my shows, wow. Troy. You've come I to did, my stand-up shows, and I couldn't leave. And you told me that was funny. <laughs> <What? laughs> Holy shit. And you told Wait me that was funny. You locked the doors in your I comedy show so no one could one. leave. Is that you're pulling? I brought a date. This is true. Yeah, basically, I, I, I didn't tell him that, though. I brought a date, and I was embarrassed. I was embarrassed. To oh, leave. I was like, oh, the oh, 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 it's true. Oh, shit. You were embarrassed. This is live Why shit. did you go out of your way to tell me how funny you thought the show was I said, hey, great show. Just as in, like, hey, good job, buddy. Troy, you know what? Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. I hope you fall off a fucking DJ riser and split your head. That's not I funny. really Whoa, fucking wow. do. I really do. I hope you have fucking OD on whatever ecstasy you're taking oh, at this fucking rave ecstasy. tonight. Thank you. Thank you. I, nothing would make me happier than seeing you convulse and foam from the fucking mouth on the floor. It would really make me fucking happy. Right. This is some good stuff, Troy. <laughs> <laughs> I know. He's, a, he's, a he's a comedic genius wow. over here, Joe DeRosa. He yeah, have his... you ever seen him live? So let's hear your opinion on his craft. Oh, good good uh, question. Hey, I was there. I had my say that it's guys. ready to go. What did you think? <laughs> People have stopped being date? polite I and are starting, starting to get real. real. I felt that the beats weren't blending properly. There you go. It's and, all uh, criticism, guys. Do. Do you have respect for DJs? Mm -hmm. 
I love DJs. Not not what he does, but wow. I, I respect. Oh, like, oh, wow. Wow. I respect wow. my people. Wow. 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 being uh, shot. You're wow. shoot, taking shots at their livelihood. I like yeah, he it's not a know livelihood when you do it for free at night. That's I mean, not. I can pay a lot of money. That's asshole. not a job. Then then quit here. Well, why do I have to? Well, I make a, I make money doing a comedy. You see me running around fucking imaging. <laughs> well, you you said, radio if if you do two things, if you did job. two different things, why that not do both? Good <laughs> that was very good. <laughs> Bill. That was funny, right? Huh? You've walked right into the fucking, you know, the hornet's Storm. nest I literally here. said, I said, you want me to stay outside until no, this, no, this no. blows no, over? No, uh, I wanted you to come in here. Yeah. The more the merrier with it this shit. It was really shit. just a simple question. I didn't realize it was wow. going to It's a classic case, yeah. classic yeah. case of dishing out but can't take it. It's okay when we fuck with E-Rock. It's okay when we fuck with Sam. It's okay when I get fucked with, when Aunt or Opie gets fucked with. Hey, leave me when, out of this. And every, when Bobby gets called fat for 90 oh, minutes straight. That's, that's, that's all fine. But, you know, but Troy, you know, it's okay. Precious Grace. I'm sorry, Troy. I didn't know. I didn't know you were off limits. No, I'm not off limits. Take shots, but I'm going to go back after you. So. And you did. But yeah. So go back after me. Don't carry a fucking grudge about it and be angry. That's the way I am. It's just the way I am. Well, then you suck. Then be careful who you go after. No. No. Okay. Well, then you, have to deal with, then you have to deal with this then. Okay. You have to no, be I deal don't getting bitched up by somebody that's not a fucking no, comedian. You think you're Guess who doesn't have to be here every day? <laughs> I mean, that's me. just the way it is. You got totally fucking bitched up by somebody that's not even a comedian. No, I didn't get you totally did. bitched up. <laughs> you got totally <laughs> fucking bitched up. Oh, Troy. You got bitched up that day, and the next time you're on, fucking Dr. Steve bitched you up. Oh, Dr. Steve served me nice. Because you're a stupid What's the Dr. Steve People are getting served. People are getting bitched up. There's livelihood being attacked. What's going on in here? Well, we're trying to turn this to Jerry Spring. Go make a picture, would you? Uh, get fatter. <laughs> go, go, go. Big oh, fat belly oh, hanging over. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. All right, that's too, yeah. that's too far. Yeah. Sorry, cur- oh. sorry, I don't do curls to try to fuck 17-year-olds, you fucking hey, fat. Hey, hey. Oh, there you go. Yeah, let's look Ooh, at this. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I don't think. Sorry, it's, Troy. I it's should right. I stay in shape to try to fuck high school you, you girls? You probably should raise? because when you're, fuck, when, do, you're fucking, when you're fucking girls, like jiggle your tits. Is that what I should do? <laughs> Is that they what I should do, hot, Troy? Because right? when you're on top of a bitch sitting there jiggling your tits <laughs> oh, like this, yeah, Troy, make a lesbian <laughs> joke now. I haven't heard this before. Wow. Come on, Troy. Wow. I'm waiting for you to make one joke. Wow. This is the kind of Joe show just said this faggot two body seconds ago. We have to attack our body images. I'm waiting to hear you say something fucking funny, Troy. I joke around with people I like. I don't fucking like you. Okay, well, I don't like you either. Like you, you're wow. a pussy. So are you. You're a fucking Who pussy. Saw this you? Coming. I didn't. Yeah, wow, this is going to be the awkwardest elevator ride ever. <laughs> I mean, ever. <laughs> we never ride the elevator together. He's not allowed to leave till five o'clock. Oh, he's not making his bits oh, and production oh, things. Oh, I'll walk out with you today. How about that, motherfucker? Oh, oh, no. No. oh we're gonna fight now, oh, Troy. I'll, no, I'll, I'll take you across the street. I'll jiggle your tits across the street. Oh, oh, you wow. want to fight me now, Troy? This I'll, like I'll kiss you on your lips. Is that where you want to take this? I'd love to fight you. We're not gonna fight, Troy. I'm gonna fucking fight you. This is sexual. What the fuck is wrong? Shut the fuck up! Shut no, the fuck I'm not going to shut the fuck up. All you came in here asking for something. Peace I'm thing. giving it to they you. They called me in. Know, right? Well, so, what do you want? Jerry, I, I, gave my, I gave my opinion to somebody on the staff. You wanted to the show. So that sort of turned Troy, into like a hipster Steven Seagal movie. <laughs> 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 Troy, you could have pulled me aside and said, dude, I didn't appreciate that. And I would have said, Troy, I'm sorry. But if you don't think I can leave till 5 o'clock, I'll walk out with you. I'll just ride the elevator down with you. What do you think Jesus of that? fucking crazy. Oh. Go ahead, Troy. We'll I blame that. it what on I, that what movie. Am I supposed to be scared that you want to ride the elevator down Well, you, you said I, I can't do that, so watch. Watch you know, me do it. You could hit all the floors, and it takes a long time. Exactly. That, yeah, right. that would piss me well, off. Well, I'm going to just wait and say Joe is very funny, and if you guys have a problem, now it's to the next level. So uh, I think the gloves are off. You guys should really go at it, you know? <laughs> maybe, maybe something for charity. Want to do something for charity? Maybe something for charity. A boxing match. Do we got a uh, agree to disagree situation oh, in the studio boy, right now? We got an we to... No, I think that they were working towards a, an <laughs> a solution. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Should we have uh, you know, closing statements? Very angry. It felt like it tipped, and we were like this kind of maybe going to get him. there. I was being sarcastic. Now it's over. I was being sarcastic. Now it's over. I really thought it got so heated that we were going to tip into like fuck it. Now there's no way. Come over here, like a man. Man. Ugh. Should we do closing uh, statements? Well, I would just say... I thought Troy and I were friends, and I thought... I'm sorry, Dave, I cut you off. I didn't mean to. I was just going to say, uh, I, I think the audience should decide by downloading your album. What's it called? <laughs> <laughs> sorry to be the Jew here, but you might as well make a little money off your terror. So. <laughs> no, go ahead. I'm sorry, Joe. I stepped on you. No, I was just going to say, I, I thought Troy and I were friends. Uh, you know what, Troy? I'll say, say it to you directly. You got some sad music to I play underneath? I thought you and I... Hold on, hang on. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, let's really dramatic What, what kind of sad do you think? Like, uh, 
Like the good wife, that kind of stuff. Everybody hurts. Oh, that's not. Wrong. Wrong. There you go. Oh, Everybody hurts. Are that maybe? That's a missing somebody kind of tune. I yeah. thought. Hold on, way. hold on. We don't Eagles have the music. Eagles nest to E Rock. Uh, come in. <laughs> yeah, we don't. Come in. E Rock. Troy's in charge of the music. Great idea. Okay, Joe. Okay, okay Joe. Please right, listen. <laughs> Troy, I thought we were friends. I thought I could fuck with you because we were friends. I fuck with Rowan. Hey, Joe, go to the tempo of the music. Slow it down. Come from the heart. Hold on, let me slow down. Okay. <laughs> we started it. <laughs> Troy, I thought we were friends. <laughs> and I thought I could joke around with one of my friends. Mm -hmm. Roland's my friend. I brought the tapes into him snoring. We all laughed. Roland's his friend. Sam's my friend. We make fun of his <laughs> half black hair that he has. <laughs> Makes us all laugh. E Rock's my friend. We call him fat all the time. Because he is. Yeah. It's terribly fat. Anthony's an alky. <laughs> Glass houses. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Go ahead, Here's the point: is that you know, I, 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 we all fuck around with each other in here. We fuck around with our friends. We were having fun one day. We all you walk fuck by. around. <laughs> <laughs> you walked by. I was like, I want to make fun of Troy sneakers and these skateboards because we we're making fun of Tony Hawk. <laughs> we're digging fun of Tony Hawk. I go, I want to make fun of him. You came in. We were fucking around. You started slamming me back. Just it was funny. Take then I actually shots. felt bad because I was like, this is going to a real place. I was like, dude, I'm sorry, man. I, we were just bored and it was. We were looking for somebody to fuck with, and I, I apologized. So if you were mad about it, I would have liked to just come to me and go, dude, look, I'm pissed off about that. Pass shit. the mic, Joe. That's it. Is he being funny now? Trying to be serious. I know. What, what song you want, uh, Troy? Yeah, literal closing Joe statement. Rosa. No, just some some nice, some sweet. Oh. Any uh, uh, any other sad songs out there? I have a feeling Troy's not <laughs> oh, going to be so Jesus. sentimental in his retort. Yeah, well, let's uh, see what happens. We got his music now. But that was sincere. I meant every fucking word of that. Right, really hey, Joe, the music fit with what you were saying perfectly. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. Troy, your closing statement. That's fine. It, look, we don't have to be. Uh, we can be okay. I mean, you know, if you take a shot at me. You know, I'm not a comedian. I don't come in here and, and hang like that. Apparently, so he, neither is Joe, according to you. Well, yeah, exactly. But he, he wants to... He wants to <laughs> but this is, a little hold fuel. A he wants this to, is my fucking problem. <laughs> Wait, you want to your closing statement? Hey, 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 I just, hey, hey, I just hey, tossed the gas can on that one. He's standing up again. We're going to shake it. What happened to the closing statement? He's got to keep trying to crash it, man. That fucking bugs me. That bugs me. Don't say... Don't. We keep it. like a four-year-old. We got to be cookie that I did. What happened to the closing statement? We oh, came to an agreement. I, thought, I, I said, so, said, this is the fourth fucking time beautifully. I put my hat in my hand to this guy and tried to apologize, <laughs> and he just comes back and keeps slamming, <laughs> and then he walks around and talks shit about me. It's no, a fuck uh, it. Not talking fuck shit. It. I'll say everything to your face. Fuck I it. I misspoke. I take back my apology. Oh, oh, oh wow. wow. Oh, oh, Dave, no, tell. We, we, Levity uh, lied. My God. I don't want to apologize. Wow. Should we still get Troy's closing statement? If you want it. You no, think I give a shit? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't. Troy, your closing statement, please. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't have to. I don't have to like Joe. Uh, I don't have to think he's funny. Oh, wow! You know I mean, I don't make the decisions of who gets booked here and who doesn't get booked Whoa. here. Thank so, God. yeah, we have this you know, order. I mean, <laughs> we're, we're cool. This is like when the I want you to talk to Tony Hawk. Exactly. Yeah. Jesus. There's a lot of anger in that. So right. Tony. We're going to have right. Bam Margera coming. <laughs> How about that rap, huh? <laughs> so, we're fine. Everything's fine. Should we okay, go for uh, open mouth make... kiss? What do you want to do? Oh, man. It's the hug. Hug? No. Hug? Should we do the hug, Joe? Come on, Joe. I'd rather not. He's going to oh, grab your titties. We're fine. You know, oh, Joe, it's a symbolism for all the countries that don't get along in the world. Titties. We're fine. I'd like to just leave it at we're fine. Uh, yeah. No I hugs. See fine there. No hugs. Troy, you'd hug him, right? On, it's a new I don't year, want according to the Joe, you know, a hug. The heaves. <laughs> you know what? I have been around. I have been around uh, comedians this entire uh, little radio, uh, funny, crazy, Adventure. wacky thing I've done. Yeah. Um, and the worst thing you could tell a comic is that he's not funny. Yeah, that was that a, is the bottom. That, was a neutron that bomb. is that is 
the the saying nigger of comedy. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it is. David, tell exactly. Larry Live. It is. Dude, it it is. It's true. It is. That's the atom bomb of what you could say to a comic. It's true. Did, do you feel Joe did anything that warranted such a strong response? Yeah, that was a really mean fucking thing to say, well, Troy. I mean, it's I'll just, be it's just an opinion. That's all. I, I mean, think I think Joe's very I, funny, I, I, but as you heard from Joe, I'm just a fucking drunk. I, I, so what do I know? <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, Joe. Way to go. I'm not Excellent. On. Way to go, Joe. Excellent. Troy, Troy that was, that one was, guy that was, a, that was a shitty thing to say, and, 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 and up until that point, oh, I didn't, I didn't mention the DJ right. stuff that you're doing. I didn't mention your job here. When you took it, it there, in the city? that's when it like started. To, that's when I, that's when I started to go out that shit. That's fine. You Carol can, you gets upset I mean, with Alice. <laughs> you're missing my get... point, Troy. I'm saying you took it to a place where you got real fucking real with it. Why don't you guys like, just both go to like Magnolia? You know, maybe split a cupcake or something. Yeah, sex in the city. You're right about that. That you own on box set, Joe. I, get, I love the show. That's Should what you it do is. It? Joe had you to go, defend Joe. himself after that one. There Joe. you go. There you go. <laughs> Joe, at least Jesus. a handshake. A handshake. And Something. it started out with Joe fucking dissing shoes. That sounds very right. sex in the I city. I want you both to go in the oh. other room, each draw your own flag of yourself, and then each one gets to burn it. Okay? <laughs> Let's end this midi style. Right? <laughs> this really is. Let's handshake, Joe. Oh, no, man, I just no. think we should just leave. Oh, no handshake. Yeah. Yeah. Troy, no. you'd handshake, no. right? Handshake. There's such mutual yeah, animosity. Handshake. Yeah, of course. He doesn't Come on, think Joe. you're funny. Come on, Joe. He'll handshake oh. your hand. Oh. No, I'd rather not. I'd rather just wow, leave. Wow, that's We're not going to help things. We're fine. Joe. Handshake fine. makes it all better. Joe, not in 2012. Come on. <laughs> this is going to be good. <laughs> Look. David Tell is, insists mean? on it. He really does. I can see Joe's point of view. I can see Troy's point of view to some degree. But, you know, the fact that, like, you know, he comes in here, you know, I don't think he comes in here too much. And and it's always, whatchamacallit, it's not like he just shows up. He's invited, right? Yes. Yeah. I always wait till I'm invited. Well, we're going to have to reevaluate, obviously. Apparently, you're on too much there, Joe. Such a fucking dick. Well, you might have to reevaluate that because it's going to be funny. We take what Troy here, so. says. Very, uh, yeah, you know well, what? Very seriously. Troy has his uh, finger on the pulse of the youth That's right, today, man, and right. we want to. Uh, We're older gentlemen. We like to hear you know, the voice of uh, someone that might be maybe a little younger. We, I mean, maybe some of the children just lives overlap. Yes, yes, you know, yes. They both do the music thing. That is true. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. I think that's that's where they, the 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 friction happened. It's right. that what competition. What if it turns out they're the only two matches for bone marrow? Oh, oh wow. wow. Would that, that be a would problem? Be, yeah. Oh, my Whoa. God. Here's my sitcom. <laughs> there it is. Uh, not, not even a handshake. No. No, we're fine. I want to leave. Joe, if you just Look, shake his Anthony, hand, we can move on. As Anthony on. just like a said, man. Yes. a as man Anthony, who has livelihood. Said, yes. Would Hemingway <laughs> shake, shake Oscar Wilde's hand? Probably <laughs> the only two authors I can think of right now. Sorry. As Anthony, be an author, dude. <laughs> Spell yeah. him out or something. As Anthony said, <laughs> saying you're not funny is 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 like saying nigger to a comedian, yes. whatever. Right. It's like it's like it's minus so, the four hundred years of slavery. Right. Yeah. Two hundred, whatever the hell. I don't know why you're so shocked. I'm sure somebody club owner oppression. Come on, you've been through it. Oh. Let oh it go. Back in Why is it so mean? Oh, no. Do you see what I mean? Oh, wow. He's this he won't let it go, Joe to Rosa. Well, we were in remission for a while, but it wow. came back. This is why I won't shake his Joe, hand. Because he's doing his hand. This is why, actually, this he's is why I didn't shake his hand. He's standing up again. Joe's up. Joe's, no, Joe's, Joe's up. Joe's up. Troy. This is why I didn't shake his hand. Because this, when, when it was his turn to do the thing, and you guys go, is it cool? And he goes, no, we're fine. We're Whoa. fine. As if it's up to fucking Troy and Troy only if we're fine. Like I like he's the godfather and I've got to go to him begging for fucking mercy. <sighs> that it's was like, a... look, we're fine, it's cool, All we don't right, have to talk, it. we don't have there's uh. gonna be any weirdness, but I'm not fucking shaking hands, I'm not hugging and we're not uh, gonna He talk takes every opportunity fine. to bash uh, you. But exactly. Right. Every single fucking chance. No yeah. matter how many times I go, let's just fucking squash it. But hold yeah. on, Joe. Troy, what did you think of his impression of you? Now, that was pretty good. Dead on, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing? That's pretty good. <laughs> this guy's tough. We got JBL wow. outside the studio. He only has like oh, 10 minutes. Oh, man. Really? Yeah. He 10, should maybe know this 15. stuff. Rocking the mic. Yeah, what would Donald guys, Trump do? Uh, holy fuck. Yeah. Oh, yeah, excellent. A real wrestler. Dude. Yeah, might as well get him in here, right? Yeah. Oh, wow. JBL, I, I apologize. How you doing, man? Wow, you came on the wrong How you doing, sir? How you doing, sir? JB, what up, bro? Grab a mic, because I know you don't have a lot yeah, of time. Yeah, grab that couch you got in the middle there. of the, on the couch today. There's a huge fight going on. Yeah, you've seen stuff like this before. <laughs> Let me tell you, Troy Kwan, you're not going to get away with this. <laughs> <laughs> what you going to do? Oh, God. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what you two idiots sounded like. <laughs> that was horrible. Yeah, oh, God. So, it yeah. got ugly there for a little while. It was. While. I started thinking it was like my mom and dad. 
My dad was going to throw the spaghetti against the wall. I was going to cry and say I had a stomach ache. My dad was going to call me a faggot. <laughs> Family yeah, vacation it argument. Real, it got real yeah. loud and real ugly. I'm sure that's not at all what you wanted to happen. No, Obi. not at all. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. Sure, you I just, just wanted a nice conversation. I just had some questions. That's all. <laughs> a little payback for being crying. relegated to page 191. That's right. You see how I work this shit? I saw you working it from the jump, but it seemed like fun, so I went with it. Uh, <laughs> that was scary, though. JBL, how are you, sir? I'm doing great, guys. Oh, oh how about a mic? There I we don't go. know which mic I, you're I missed a heck try of a that. fight here. Yeah. yeah, these guys are... Uh, it was a real slobber knocker. <laughs> oh, my God, King. I can't believe it. We learned money King, get up. <laughs> we learned money slobber knocker is not an English word. No. Oh, no. At all. <laughs> Slobber knocker. Uh, we, we, you got you got something uh, pretty cool going on. What are you doing? You're climbing f- fucking mountains. I'm going going tonight to Africa, climbing uh, Kilimanjaro to raise money for a kids program I run. I'm trying to climb the seven summits. Uh, I don't know if I'll make it. I don't even know if I'll live. Uh, but, Man. <laughs> but, but now some of these mountains. But if I can, I'm trying to climb the seven summits, which is the highest mountain on each peak of, of every continent. Now to the top, or are you just going to go? Eh, I climbed it. Are you going to well, do it good the enough? Last, the last summit, I just kind of climbed it. I didn't oh, yeah. make it to the peak. I got weathered off about 500 feet below the summit. Oh man, come well, on! You were that feet. close, though. You got to do the 500. Well, we got weathered off. We had no, we had no sleeping bags. We had no tents. Now we're 500 yeah. feet, but that's still probably three or four hours at that altitude. I was on wow. Mount Elbrus in Russia, the highest mountain in in Europe, and uh, we climbed for about a week. And right below the summit, we had done all the hard climbing, but couldn't make it to the top because of weather. Wow, how cold does that get? I had three pair of gloves on. I had uh, liner gloves, gloves, and then huge mitts on top of those and still got frostbite. It's miserable at that altitude. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Since it's Kilimanjaro, that's Africa, right? Like, uh, Everest, you always hear about, like, the, the Gurkha guides and all those kind of things. Are there people, like, local natives that do this all the time, and you guys just kind of Yes. Like, okay. Yeah, there's a group there that's done it for 25 years, Mountain Madness. Uh, it, it, Kilimanjaro is the easiest of the seven summits. So did you, you got tons you, of porters. Uh, did you pass any dead bodies? Did you get to that level? Like they I say, didn't get to that level. Yeah. I, oh, but man. unfortunately, I didn't pass myself. So. Uh, they're like, <laughs> they're, yeah, like, like Mount Everest, they got, like, guy in orange suit. Like, yeah, they're, like, yeah. famous. Yeah, they're markers. They're they got dead guys. They're they got famous. green boots. That's right there near the uh, the Cornish Traverse. They got about 200 dead bodies on Everest that people see climbing up. That's <laughs> crazy. That yeah. And and what they don't say about Everest is you got <laughs> this is disgusting. But they got puke all over the mountain. It freezes. So when people get that out to, they get sick and throw up, and it's just there for. <laughs> just and, and it's going to be there for the next thousand years. Frozen Maybe we puke. should get Troy and Jody yell at it, and it'll just <laughs> avalanche down. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. David Tell, let me live. Wow, so which, which other, uh, you're, you're going to do uh, Everest? I'm going to do Everest in 2014, as long as I oh. make these other ones. I, you know, I think I'll be okay on Kilimanjaro. It's a non-technical mountain. It's a high mountain, 19,300 feet, and the, and the biggest problem is altitude sickness. But so far, I haven't had any problem with that. Yeah. Uh, I do Aconcagua next in South America. Uh, that's a bit of a problem. So if I get past Aconcagua and these others, I'll do Everest Why is that one a problem? They call it <laughs> they call it Mount Death. They have, <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, second choice. They have a 30% success rate on Aconcagua. It's it's 80 miles from the Pacific Ocean, even though it's in uh, Argentina, so the, the wind chill can be brutal on top of that, because w- the winds come off the Pacific Ocean oh, just man. freezing cold That's up there. That's a good wrestling name, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Mount, Mount Death. Death. Mount Death. That's cool. You. Mount Death. <laughs> So why are you doing this? Yeah. I'm raising money for my kids' program. Yeah, but you can walk across America. I could also bake cookies, which is <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What, what relationship are you trying there. to avoid? I ran, I ran yeah, I see that wedding ring. How bad is it? I ran into <laughs> Annabella Bond a while back. Look up Annabella Bond, and if you see yeah. how hot she is, you, you would want to follow her anywhere. She did the Seven Summits, the fastest woman to do it ever. She raised millions of dollars for her charity, nice. so that's where I, I got the does, idea. Does your height uh, work against it's you? It's horrible, yeah. No, yeah. But I'll be the tallest guy to do all Seven Summits. Say, I've if nev- I make it, never seen I'll a tall the, hiker. I'll also be the tallest guy to die on Everest if oh, I do man. die. Gonna, you'll get a good nickname though. <laughs> tall guy. He'll just be tall guy. <laughs> tall guy. I'll find you easier. Yeah, I'll be like the guy Green Boots. How would yeah. you be known forever as Green Boots? Green Boots. Some, some, some guy's dead on Everest. He has a pair of Green Boots. They've called him Green Boots for decades. Yeah. 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 I was gonna say which haven't boots. been in style since probably My the late sixties. <laughs> Summer of Love hiking boots. In, uh, in like fifty years, it'll be oh look, it's Uggs. Yeah. Apparently on Everest, you can tell. When guys died because of the clothing they're wearing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but with global well, warming, I mean, isn't like. it getting easier? They, they're they remarkably well <laughs> preserved. They found George Mallory, who they think ascended in 1924, and his body, everything was perfectly intact. I love that. I think that's yeah. the coolest. It just Dave, like a Dave brought up a great there. point. Yes. 
Now, What's that, Dave? The back skin had gone completely off of Mallory. It was, it was shiny white, but all of his clothes, everything were in perfect uh, order, like just like he, when he died in we're, 1924. We're going to try to find Jesus the site. Christ. We tweeted that. Uh, we tweeted Dave, the that site. Great point. I'm well, what happened right now? Yeah. I missed it. Shit. He said, 150 to throw it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, I got 200 in on this. Dave, do Dave what did I said, miss? With global warming, is it making it easier? Is it easier? Oh, oh like, yeah. The 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 like guys like Kilimanjaro now. is no? now has very little snow on it, so it's greatly uh, retracted the glaciers. Everything. In fact, the route we're climbing, unless we catch bad weather, is going to have no snow on it. Is Everest the only one that has the dead bodies? Yes. Whoa, that's a dead guy right there. Yeah. yeah. Well, and look, he's uh, kicking back. <laughs> yeah. What, right. what, how did he die like that? He's just like, I'm going to just take a little nap here. I'll, I'm going to get on my way in, a, in about an hour. I think it he just looks there. like he's club DJing. Oh. Oh. Joe. oh. <laughs> I think and it's just a skull. He basically probably said, don't lay down because then you're going to die. So he just laid down as much as he could. And as he, st he started freezing, and then when he wanted to lay down, oh, he couldn't. Shit, you're probably hey, you know, right. He looks like he's posing for Playgirl. Well, yeah, yeah, he's got that pose. <laughs> it's Jesus. Burt Reynolds. Uh, it's because yeah, he's it's... not wearing a hat. That's what happened. That's where all the heat came out. <laughs> I'm too chilly. <laughs> he looks like a. Is, is he skull face? It's yeah. just like skull face. Oh, that is crazy. Find the other pictures. There's a bunch of them. What a new kink. Yeah. Got a little flash, flash, like all these little flash dance thing going. There. Yeah, he does. A little off the shoulder number. Mm hmm. Oh man! Now Crazy. you got to bring your own equipment, am I right, sir? I mean, like, there's no models in like Kilimanjaro <laughs> town, is there? No, there's not. So you carry your own town. You know, that's how you do it. Easy. <laughs> I know what he's talking about. You yes. Way. It's that way. <laughs> oh, is that green boots? Where's green boots? Still green boots. Yeah, these guys are just. That's crazy. Green boots. Well, that is, yeah, that's like one of those things, like when you got the shark wrangling kind of thing, like you don't know you're good at it until like, you know, you're doing it, I guess. I right. guess. Jesus. Is this green boots? What the fuck? Here comes green boots. There's green boots. There's his green boots. He looked like he wiped out skiing. He does, right? Yeah. He's hit on Whoa, dude, man, this is, this is hardcore. And how long has green boots been there? Trying to figure out by uh, relatively that, that, the fashion. That, I would say, it looks like they're in a Bob Vila vest. Right. <laughs> no, so I would like say late, the late 80s. 70s. Why do you wear fluorescent ski yeah. boots in, in, in fashion? Jerry Briscoe, who has Briscoe Brothers down, he's an old wrestler, uh, to ask me to wear a Briscoe Brothers T-shirt in case this happened. And oh. then, <laughs> every time you look it up, he gets pressed for his Briscoe Brothers. Hey, look, Brothers it's Briscoe. Look, we're passing Briscoe right now. We're passing the Briscoe Brothers guy. <laughs> That Man. must be really hard. Like when you're passing the guy and you hit that wall, like, oh, we got to keep going. That guy just Has fell anybody over. had like, there's like a website name just to know that it's a fresh kill? <laughs> you know, yeah, a dot com. A dot com windbreaker. Oh, that'd be great. If you're up there and you run into my career somewhere in the snow, <laughs> can you please cover it and give it a decent. <laughs> I'll be live, David Tell. Like all those guys long. It's uh, Apparently, it's not a bad way to go. You just kind of like fall asleep. You know, but you're freezing. That's no, no, and, yeah. uh, no, it's getting to that just falling asleep. Part. Right, exactly. Yeah, like that part. That's like days. drowning isn't the last 10 seconds of drowning. Well, Evidently, the isn't guy, a bad thing. It's the that, screaming and flailing first 90 part. seconds. Yeah. That's amazing. Stuff, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I imagine getting eaten, eaten by, by a wild animal. That final eight seconds where you're just kind of leaving your body. Right, right. <laughs> probably not that bad. Not as bad as that first time the first teeth sink into the back of your neck. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's probably yeah. the worst part. I think you're right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So this guy was freezing and in utter agony until he just gave up and went. Oh, I'm sleepy and I feel so warm now. No, oh, I was oh, cold. The snow but now is so warm. soft. Yeah, yeah. Let me just. I'm just gonna lay down here for a little bit, and then there he is, green. When, when I first started going, I'm, the thing is, WWE has sponsored me. We're partners in all this. You that way we get can... up that mountain. <laughs> you <laughs> get up that goddamn mountain. He's gonna I'm puke. Gonna, He's yeah. gonna puke. On Let the me tell you. I'm gonna plant the WWE flag <laughs> if I make it to the top on all these mountains. But oh, the first man. flag they sent me had to come off the Titan to uh, Towers uh, headquarters. It probably weighed 20 it's pounds. Giant. It oh. was this. And I said, I'm not gonna have room for oxygen, food, anything with this. Uh, and flag. Vince's 20 pound so flag. And huge. then you won't have room for a job. When you get back, <laughs> flag. So yes. finally, finally, they send me a vinyl flag, which I have now. But the first oh, one was go. this huge <laughs> that would have took up the whole wall. And I said, "That's typical WWE." Uh, Vince. Vince, that's Vince all the way. That's amazing. That's a, he makes about uh, himself. How long will it take you? Like how many days? How many days is that? Is Eight that... days in Kilimanjaro. Now Everest, when I when I attempt it, will be about sixty days because you have to climb on the mountain for so long.
You got to stick around and wait. If you step out of an airplane at 29,000 feet, you'll die in about five to six minutes. But you can acclimatize. George Malley figured that out by mistake in the 20s. You can acclimatize by going up, sleeping, coming back down. You increase your red blood cell count, but that also lends yourself to having heart attacks. So that's the the thing. That's that's insane. So you climb up and then climb back down? Yes. And then back up a little more. And, and then you'll da- spend the night at about 27,000 feet, which if you got out at that level to begin with, you'd be dead shortly. Yeah, that's a depressurized fucking aircraft. Right. That's crazy. That's not, and it's that's not a good night's sleep, I would imagine. No, no, nah. you'd probably toss and turn. Toss and turn Jimmy a little Norton bit would at 27,000 feet. Having his fucking apnea mask on at 27,000 feet. <laughs> I guess there's not enough. You know, we can bring spot like... spot him in the snow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody can bring like 60 days worth of oxygen, right? So you just Correct. Like, so You've got a five-day window to get up and get down. You, you spend each camp, and then you have to get up, you have to get back down. At some point, you got you just have to have the mask on, or is that just you just put that on for a second because you feel the heart attack coming? <laughs> <laughs> just asking. Guys usually put it on around 25, 26,000 feet. Now, there are guys who've climbed it without oxygen, but they're, they're also about 25, 26,000 feet. You, you better start putting it on. I bet they live uh, at a high altitude. And see, that's yes. the problem. You, you have about a 2, 2 p.m. window. To get uh, to the top and get back down. And if you don't, uh, you're going to spend the night up there and probably die. And a lot of these guys get summit <laughs> fever. And what happened this year with those four okay. guys who died, they summited at about 5 o'clock p.m. There was zero chance they are going to get back down. They are out of oxygen. So they knew it. And, well, they knew it, well, but for some reason in their confused the state, they thought they could make it down. So they keep uh, going. Pretty much all, so the math, going. all the math up there adds to, and then you're going to die. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's you know? always the so end. Pretty much you have like, like, <laughs> and how long can you stay at the, the top top? The summit. Five days. No? <laughs> I'm here about, like about 15 25, minutes. 25, 30 minutes yeah, is, is right, about right, the right. max you can stay up there. And take people take the, the mistake people make is and they take their sunglasses dinner. off to take photos and they get snow blindness by the time they get down. They, they, then they have a real rush to get down because they go blind after. Well, they see uh, God's a couple face. Hours. so high. I well, yeah. See it. Yeah. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. There's just too much shit that could go wrong. That's amazing. Man. Uh, you're like, it's like uh, the Middle East right now. There's yeah. not a lot of upside. You're it's like just the James no, Cameron no. of the sky. Like you're going to the top. He's going that to the bottom. Leads to, I don't know. That all, all, Middle East all leads to, or they start throwing rocks. <laughs> <laughs> you're cool. Uh, can I give money now? Like I, I'm into this thing. Whoa. Like, would you mind? I'd love money. Okay. Here. Damn. Damn. All go. Thank you. My whole week of levity live. Thank you very much. Merch. Wow. Wow. Dave. Wow. Dave. Damn, Dave. Goes all to uh, hey, guy. Crosby might die. What else? Yeah. That's pretty good. Thank you very much. Deposit that before you start climbing. I'm going to. That's what I told him. I'll get all your deposits in now. You never know. I'd like I to see him after be, the I may show. Not be coming down. I'd like to see him after the show in a bar, just buying the, everyone shots. Jaro <laughs> <laughs> International Airport. No, no attention. No, no. Uh, somebody's ice axe was left. Can you imagine all the weird stuff? Uh, the Hitachi plate, uh, <laughs> blanket warmer, or something. That's a hell of a way to get pocket money. You know, damn well, that's not going to the charity. IPhone. Yeah, I think we hit on something. Uh, right. Some sort of relationship What's, he's avoiding. Right. There's something going on. Yeah. You have to do 60 yeah. days yeah, of how do you tell your lady? How, how do you tell your wife that? All right. I'm gonna. I'm out of here for 60 days. Oh, what are you doing? And I might die. Yeah, I'm going to a mountain. With, uh, I'm hilarious. going to Mount Death. <laughs> and he's Skyping her from Everest. He's just standing in front of a picture of a mountain. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and not she's so like, Why aren't you asking about my day? <laughs> <laughs> Wow! Hey, on my last mountain, Mount Elbrus, I had I had connectivity with my cell phone, and we got stuck in a storm, and we thought we might be up there all night. We actually slid down the mountain about. We tied ourselves together and slid down about a thousand feet of the mountain. And I really thought, should I should I text my wife now and tell her that oh, I'm in man. trouble, or just <laughs> hope I make it? And uh, Jesus you don't want her to worry. No, 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 no so I, I, I saved the text. Have you always been this guy, JBL, an adventurer? Oh, absolutely. I yeah. ran, when I first retired from wrestling, I ran with the bulls and swam with the great white sharks down in Africa. I've always enjoyed wow. just doing stuff. I'm from a small town in Texas, so this is really living the that dream for me. That always explains it. Well, can can I ask town. you, how, how, when you said you swam with great great white sharks, like, yeah, what, yeah I got capacity? in the cage with them down at uh, Hermanus off the coast of South Africa, where, they, where you see on the Discovery Channel the sharks breaching the, the surface. Jumping sharks, yes, yeah, jump Island. out of the water. That's where I went. I was with Ooh. those jumping sharks down there, but in a cage. And so there was no issue? Were you afraid? No, none of them biting the cage or nothing? One of them uh, snapped at one of the guys in the boat. Uh, he was on the back of the boat trying to help me in, but n- as far as me, no. Trying to help you in, and then, okay, so you're in the cage. Yeah, and the, and guy, where was the, the, guy, shark? the guy stepped out on a platform to try to help me back in, and the shark uh, came by and took a snap at his leg wow. trying to get him. Jesus Christ. What'd you guys say, whoa, and then do that nervous laugh? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Is that more frightening than climbing the mountain? I think it's more frightening, right? 
Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Because like, you, you have zero control of that. Right. And I mean, like, you're in a no... cage and you feel like you're safe, but you have zero control over something like uh, an animal like that. Running with the bulls was, a, was the scaredest I've ever been. Really? Because you have no control whatsoever. It, it's just a freaking lottery whether you get hit or not. If you mm. want to see somebody get mauled, where's the best place to be? It's in the, it's in the arena, right? Oh, it's in the arena, but it's, yeah, it's, right, it's, right, it's right, right in front of the tunnel. Uh, right in front of the tunnel where they go in, uh, the running with the bulls, that's when everybody gets mauled and, and hurt and killed. Because everybody's trying to squeeze into one little tunnel. Oh, you have man. these huge bulls and a bunch of people, and that's where pileups occur. And when bulls get turned around, that's when bad things happen. As long as they run straight through, it's usually fine. But once they get turned around, that's when people start getting thrown over fences. How, are you, how is it legal to do this thing? It's not all America, you xenophobe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's like, yeah, it's like you know, you're all over the world. They have different sport. cultures, different thought, ways of life. I thought you'd be on my side with this. I, I am. thought you'd be like, hey, I am. there's fucking dirt balls over there." I was uh, playing Troy Kwan's advocate. Oh, I got you. <laughs> yeah. I got you, dude. That's fu- you're the closest thing to Indiana Jones I've ever met. Oh in my man, life. yeah, that's yeah, pretty really. good. And I love Indiana Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe age wise now. Hey, hey, Jesus. Jesus. I tell you, the, the, the problem the, the, I was the only guy sober in that running of the Bulls. Now, I regretted it, but they, 8 o'clock in the morning, the bar's let out, and the, the drunk guys who've been drinking all night, they're the ones that run with the Bulls. And once you get in, you can't get out. They have the coward police that push you back in. Wow. So once you get in and they blow no. the whistle, you, <laughs> you have amazing. to run. How and so these possible? guys just pile out of the bars drunk. I'm down there stretching, trying not to tear a hamstring, and these guys are just hammered, finishing off their last beer. Did anybody die when you did it? No, we had one guy get gored badly. Uh, horn went right through his chest. It was oh, in oh, intensive fuck. care for That's wow, got to get months. infected. That's got to get, get infected. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hey, guys, that's going to leave a mark. Yeah. Uh-huh. If I was like, if I was you and the shark was coming at me, I would be beating him with my bucket from my bucket list. Ah, I like, see, because that's what you'd be in there for. You ever see it because he does all these things yes. Yes. that would be on his... In the bucket right. list. You see the picture of the bullet gored that guy through the bottom of his jaw? It comes and right the, out his the mouth. Horn was out his mouth. Amazing. Oh, it's fucking sick. I love when those guys die. Another guy that got right I love up the bulls his win. asshole. I love when the bulls win. And it was buried. Absolutely love mm. it. I love the most asshole. disgusting yeah. thing in the world to me. A guy sit out there with a couple swords oh, yeah. and just torture an animal until it dies. I'm very I very much root for the bull. Oh, yeah, and they ride or they wear it out first. They run around the guys on the horses and they throw it. It's Spears wounded animal the whole time. I don't know. Training three ways is pretty rough. <laughs> <laughs> well, JBL, you got to get the hell out of here. He's a I hear you're doing busy TV man. and all that. Busy man today. Got to fly to Africa. Man. When wow. you're flying today? Christ. I'm leaving the day. Yeah. yeah. Did you take all your shots? Well, you, that must be a lot of shots, right? A lot, a lot of shots. Yeah, a, lot a lot of, of disease over there. Pills, a lot of malaria, things. Flintstone vitamins. Just <laughs> yeah. throws those things down. Just cover all the bases. Hulk Hogan vitamins I'm taking <laughs> with me. <though>. Yeah. <laughs> Remember to take your vitamins, brother. That's right. Yeah. You gotta get your shots. Yeah, <laughs> get your shots, or you come back here and don't kill my entire staff. <laughs> <laughs> JBL, is there a website or something so people can follow your progress? Yes, like, thank you. Bit. Seven Summits for Kids dot com nice. is the okay. website. All right, we gotta get you out of here. Very cool, cool, man. A real I hope you yeah, come yeah. back alive. That Appreciate would be real it, guys. Nice thank you very much. Yeah, yeah tell luck, us about man. your adventures if you're alive. And thank you for the uh, two hundred dollars for the uh, kids in Bermuda. I wish yeah, more, dude. that's or, pretty good. Or for today's That's breakfast. Very Either good. one. And that was the Jewish guy. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> pretty fucking well, cool. You know, New yeah. Year. Well, New we're year. not buying into a scam like you are, David. <laughs> <laughs> I would track that money. Make sure it goes. Which <laughs> oh, right. I will go through the. Right. I will go through the website. He's going to Mount money. Kilimanjaro. It's different. It's only ten luck, feet high. Well, it's All like right, we're saying sir. goodbye to a friend. Yeah, this is it. Oh, it's done. JBL, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. That's like a real man. Don't be a hero now. Don't be a hero. No, but be a hero. Don't be a hero. That's um. There that's goes like a, a man. That's as a they real man. The right there you go, Joe. Look that's around. A man. That's a man. <laughs> that's a man. <laughs> Not yeah. that little sissy argument you guys yeah. were having for four oh, hours. Look, look around this room. room. It was a fucking guys. argument. Why no are you man. breaking my balls? He no just got hurt right, right there for a second, Joe. He did. He I got hurt that you didn't get my back when you came in. Fucking balls. Joe, you know what it was? I wanted you to just jump in and just start swinging for me. I stayed out till three in the morning drinking. You did? Oh, man. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Ah. So then, yeah, so I was already hung over, and I came walking in, and the first thing is I hear you <laughs> screaming. <laughs> All right, About enough. your livelihood. So th- I enough. just, you know. I got you. Joe, there's nothing more I want to do at, some, <laughs> at least once in my life to finally have your back. <laughs> but, like, I came walking in, yeah, yeah, with Jameson and a breakfast sandwich and me just oh, swirling man. around. Oh, oh, man. Hey, hey, wasn't the line something That's like, uh, hey, is that a man over there? And he goes, you're damn, damn right. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was that one. the other guy off. Yeah, yeah, he's, it was fucking 
It was uh, right Chuck stuff. Yeager's fucking man partner He's that he had. He's jerking a guy off. Well, him. no, not really. Then why yeah. would you say it? Like I, that? I didn't. I was just trying to tell you that, guys. <laughs> why would Chuck Yeager be jerking off, being jerked off by another man? I never saw the glamorous <laughs> Glennis. I don't know. That's the that's the first thing I've ever heard that made me want to see the right stuff. Though that was the first it's a great I was like, movie. Oh, I gotta check this movie. He's yeah. trying to great test movie. the limits of his popularity. Yeah, what a great yeah. way to get out of everything. Sorry, guys. I got a plane to Africa. No yeah. shit, man. I gotta go. Down at the yeah, exit Next stage up, left. Nairobi. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think when he flies to Africa, it's going to show a red line on a map? <laughs> Ma, the dotted line, a lot of turns, a lot of stops for fuel, propeller sounds. Ma, <laughs> an oldie style map. I'd love to go on the road like via train, like some old president, you know, and have you in the back with like the stars and stripes yes, just the, waving to people. The bunting on the back. The little, <laughs> Everybody wave. in town gathering as you pull in. It's, it's the tremendous. Bilbo whistle stop. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody. Everybody on that flight has got to be going to do what he's to doing. To do to that, yeah. Out. Why you else? Everybody think. coming back is going to have diamonds, you know, you traffic. Shut up their ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blood diamonds. <laughs> All right, we got to take a break. David Tell has an unlit cigarette. We got to get to that. No, no, I'm good. I'm you good, but uh, Tell's at uh, Levity Live up there in Niagara. Yeah, where are you guys? Are you guys Palisades Saints Mall, I believe, or something like that. Uh, right? yeah. Caroline's. You guys at Caroline's. Caroline's. I'm going tonight, Caroline's. by the way. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you? Yeah. Oh, yes. cool. Yes, sir. Joe. Well, yeah, I'm working with Bill, but cheat, cheat. Yes. Man's Guide to Infidelity in stores October 9th. With and the online. link to our short film that we've been talking about. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And um, movie and the book, October 9th. Two and a half years. That short film yes. is amazing. It's really good. All right, we'll continue with these guys. Stay there. This is the Obi Anthony Channel on Sirius XM. Welcome back to Yenta Explorers with Marge and Gertrude. Let's join the ladies as they head down to the deepest, darkest parts of the ocean to explore the Titanic. Boy, this elevator sure the heck is taking quite a long time. <laughs> I hope no one pushes all the buttons on the way back up. Oh, stopping at every tip. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah, this is like going up into the plane, but going down into the ocean. Where's the clouds and stuff? Oh, you're funny. Up, where's the whales and the sonar and not? Hey, stop here. I'm going to get off and buy some girdles. Uh, floor five, shoes, hats, and gloves. Ah, uh, ladies' foundations and other picture postcards. I'd love to go cave diving under there. That's craziness. Sure would. Hey, cave diving, what are you doing? Oh, well, let's journey to it. Why don't they go down there and just lift it up with a bunch of ropes? Just pick it up. Push it. It's like, uh, it's underwater. Water, everything's lighter than the water. I'd light a ciggy down there in a second. You can bend. Quick, get me a Benson and Hedges. I see the core. Girl, where's my Chesterfields? Quick, get me a moor. I see the big circle of fire. I'm smoking. I'd love to have a Titanic pickle sandwich. Hold the relish, darling. This is the last one of its kind. I'm going to have a little bit of pickle with a side of pickle juice. Get a star line plate. I'm starving. Crikey, the Yenters made it all the way down, but will they make it back up? Find out next time on Yenta Explorers with Marge and Gertrude. Serious XM. This is the OP and Anthony Show. We've got Bill Byrne Studio, David Tell and Joe DeRosa are what? Having a cigarette or I something? Think they were smoking. Smoking. A little cigarette. Yeah, uh, how was Caroline's last night? It was great, man. Yeah, I it can't wait great. to go. And I'm working on the new hour. Felt like I hit the warning track twice. Really? What? I just couldn't quite fucking, you know? Oh, shit. Get Come it on. over the wall? Yeah, no, no. People still had a good time. I mean, yeah. I mean I'm fucking, I'm real hard on myself, but I just want to, uh, it, it, you, this is this is the thing, man. Oh, go, tonight go, you will. Going through the world. Oh, no, I'll no, be yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll hear me. Good. Oh, boy. <laughs> 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 That's good. And the book is out. Cheat. Yeah. Is it out today? Yes, it is. A Man's Guide to Infidelity. It's cheat. coming up. Yes. B Bill Burr, Joe DeRosa, and Robert Kelly. A whole yeah. bunch of guys telling their cheat stories. That's pretty good. Yep. And, 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 and then breaking it down like... Uh, how to, how to not get caught? You basically it's just, the funny thing is is you're basic. This is like three convict, convicted bank robbers telling you how to rob a bank. It's like, well, they did rob a bank, <laughs> but uh, we're going to tell you what this guy did wrong. Yeah, but, but we have gotten caught, and uh, yeah, it's just like this is like something that I think is a major part of a lot of guys single years yeah and uh it's just not talked about everybody just acts like they didn't do it and there's all kinds <laughs> of mental cheating there's just all kinds of fucking she going to degrees of cheating yeah, going in and rubbing one out to some co-worker in the bathroom I and mean, there's just all kinds of shit that's going on that that's like cheating i don't i mean i what i don't how's that cheating it isn't well right, it you. isn't but 
there's some kind of disloyalty there. If you actually Isn't tell your mentally. partner that that's what you're doing, right? Then it's, it's I was put in this my way, world, she'd be pissed. In my world, it's I, it's it's just into the realm of rude. Right, rude. It's like, <laughs> why would you tell me that? Yeah, <laughs> like I fully expect my girl to be thinking of other people at this point. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just like, I mean, why wouldn't you? Uh, it just doesn't even make sense. You don't fucking have the same sandwich every day for lunch. You know? Yeah. It's such a, fuck, it's such uh, a hacky analogy. But, it's, saying. And, but it, it's true. Yeah. And the stories in the book are very funny, too. So oh, that, that, my, favorite part of the, well. my favorite part of the book is all the, all the stories that people uh, they, yeah. they, they, they tell in there. Who's and, in the book? And, it, and, actually, and, then get, the, and then we have a link to the movie, which is really the whole reason... We wrote the book. This is like a pr uh, a, a promotional tool to yeah. get people to see the movie. That you know, you get if you buy the book, you get the link, and then you can see the movie. Which of course, then somebody's going to upload the movie, and of the whole course. thing goes to shit. <laughs> that's how that's how it works. <laughs> Fucking assholes. In this day yeah, and age. No, and I'm sick of people. And I've been, you know, I used to download stuff on LimeWire, so I'm not putting myself <laughs> above. All the assholes out there, but people just sit there and they're like, "What happened to all the good music? What happened to all the good movies?" It's like, "Hey, dude, you get what you pay for." Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> How many times are people going to shell out millions of dollars and have one guy watch it and then upload it? Everybody like, else just yeah gets it for free. Yeah, the people. I think they're going to just start shooting movies on iPhones. It really, it Not really does ruin them. the quality of what's out there now. Yeah. <laughs> right? You are right. People are making nothing these days. I was the cigarette boys. Oh, yeah, it was good. Yeah. Get cigarette, nice. Yeah. You yeah. calm now, Joe? I'm yeah, I'm calm. Colin Quinn called because he heard everyone. Uh, what he said? Everyone, oh. no, we didn't get him on yet. I hope he calls back. But everyone on Twitter got to call in. It's getting crazy in there. And Colin, we explained what was going. And Colin just started laughing hysterically and hung up. Yeah, yeah. so I don't know what that means, but <laughs> it, I, it doesn't look good for you, Joe. Well, uh, come on, you know. Can it's, we call Colin back? Or? Look, I get emotional in an argument. I, I'll be the yeah. first to admit it. I, yeah. I'm all emotions. It's uh, very emotional in an argument. I'm not good at. Uh, <laughs> I'm not good at quick witted. That today, that today, that today, that today. Well, go, now you're making you're fun gonna, of me. You're not good at what? <laughs> we all acknowledged during the break when you weren't here that you're really funny. Oh, see? Well, thank when you. When no one was listening, we decided, you know what? When no one was this, listening. This, we this guy is funny. No, we were I don't know what Troy Kwan's you, saying. You, 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 you fell for the thing, like the way he was coming at you. It's like when a, when a girl wants to make you mad. They got like three. They, they either dick size, your sexuality, or your abilities in bed. Yeah. Like they. that's when... They, they kind of uh, what's it capitulate? They yeah. just go right to that's because you're you're probably gay or you know you got a little yeah. dick or yeah. I fake the orgasm. <laughs> he did that comedically. He just went like, I don't find you funny. And then you for some reason you took the bait. You shouldn't have taken. Why do you care? Why do you, uh, why do you I, care? I get. I, I it it wasn't it wasn't that I cared so much about that one statement. It was everything connected to it that happened that led up to it. That I was at any point were you thinking, Wow, I'm standing up yelling right now. I got to sit down. No, I was you're not just, at that point. I'm at that point with my anger, where I actually I'm, I can now like get outside myself, watch myself losing my shit. I still oh, really? lose my shit, and yeah. I just look at myself like, oh, here I go again. <laughs> oh, look at me making an ass of myself. We go. I'll have to apologize for that one later. <laughs> uh, we got Colin Quinn on the phone. Colin, Ooh. I want to set the stage for you. We got Joe DeRosa, very funny comic. Also, uh, <laughs> David Tell from who's going to be at Lovely Live this weekend, and uh, Bill Burr. So welcome, sir. Great. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> there was uh, a little Hello? bit of a disagreement. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, Colin. Yes. Guys, I feel like we have a little disconnect. Oh, I'm no. outside, so it's not my fault. Oh, wh where, where are you headed at this uh, early hour? Kilimanjaro. <laughs> I'm outside. No, I don't want to trash me yet. Let's get on. First of all, let's talk about the fact that DeRosa has become such a superstar that I... We sit there and attack the rose when he's not there, and he's not even anyone's friend. He just got into comedy a couple of years ago. <laughs> oh, Jesus, Colin. Oh, shit. Colin, Jesus. Wow. You've only been at this a couple through. of years? After, after Colin, I, we got history, you and me. Come You're on. a noob. The, uh, you uh, were a rapper before that, right? Uh, Is that what I, I heard? I was a musician. I was not really a, a magician? Rapper. No, a musician. Where does the rap musician. thing come from? Well, I did do that for a while, but I wasn't like I was. I, that wasn't like my focus. Kick out some rhymes. Oh, yo. that's why you like Faith No More. <sighs> why? Because they kind of do a little rap. They do well, not I just take that. I was right a musician. Now. You mean you were in a band? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I played music. Oh, that's what I did. That's why there's a lot of tension <laughs> no, between you and uh, what's his name, Troy. Troy Quant. He's uh, uh, that's he's what I was. Tr I was trying to make a career out of it. I mean, I I've know. seen Joe in karaoke. He's pretty goddamn good. Thank yeah. You, yeah. Thank you. I was a scientist. 
<laughs> well, how many years have you been doing comedy, Joe? Eleven. All right. Wow. Just... Yeah, eleven years. Damn. So you know, not yeah, crazy Colin. Long, eleven but, years, know. Colin. He, I don't know where he went. Oh, he hung up just... already. Or his phone. Oh, he's calling back. Hold on. Colin, we did not hang up on you, sir. What the hell? <laughs> Your yeah. phone sucks. Yeah. You better get an iPhone five. <laughs> uh. <laughs> well, Co Colin, Colin, yes. Colin, Joe does, yes. Joe's been doing comedy for eleven years. Eleven, it's not, not quite two. just you know, no. a couple or whatever. This is the worst crashing of all time. I'm outside. I can barely hear you. Why are you outside? I like how he's acting like it's your fault. You got the studio. I know. <laughs> you know where we are. Come by. To pick okay. a bagel. Yeah. Why don't you just come by? I'm going OTB. Where are you going, Colin? Oh my God! Jesus Christ! All right, dude, dude. Oh, screw it, guys! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Tom. Yeah, <laughs> and that's Colin Quinn. Wow. one. <laughs> Believe it or not, the same funny guy from Twitter. I think that's uh, <laughs> the worst <laughs> Colin Quinn call ever. Ever? Yeah. There was technical problems. Yeah, totally. Sure. Tech had nothing sure. to do with Colin. That was bad. Colin's a funny guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was bad. This is a comedy rap song that I was in that these guys in Atlanta uh, did. Oh. oh. Oh, what is it called? Grab, Grab Dat, Dat Dalla. This is you, Joe? It was, well, it's a bunch of comics in Atlanta did this song. They asked me to do a verse on it, so I did. Right. Oh, man. There you go. Oh, you look good. So she keep on shaking for me. That guy there just made it rain. Tossing 20s on the stage. Should have tucked them in a string. Now guess who's getting paid? Dollars on the dance floor. Pick them up in high school. That's what I got hands for. Holler at You're like Snoop. She don't know just what I did. Yeah, you know, it was a song about strippers. Now she's getting on my dick. This is called recycling. Ain't no shame. Oh, man. I'm going to grab your bills when you make it rain. Wow. Yeah. It's not bad. I didn't write the song. I just wrote my yeah, you, verse. You pulled it off. It's no yeah. South Korean dance craze mob <laughs> song, but it's good. Uh, What's that guy called? No, I have a you know, I have a band. I still play music and stuff, but you know. Do you still have a band? Yeah, I still have a band. Do you play out? Uh, sometimes our new album is going to be out Why soon. So I when I that comes the, out, we'll play out. Want to catch the like uh, in the winter when it comes yeah. out? Wait, you got a new album coming out? Yeah, with your band? Yeah, yeah. What kind of music? Uh, it's like a. It's Boss like a Nova. lot of what's <laughs> yeah, smooth jazz. <laughs> uh, it's a lot of like what's out there now. It's like a like computer pop rock kind of stuff, like 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 Lori Anderson, like a post, oh, okay. <laughs> you know, like Grizzly Bear, like a lot of those bands that are out there now. Gloria Stefan, yeah, Miami Sound Machine, yeah, that kind of thing. Uh, are you going to uh, like drop bombs and attack Troy in, in the soundtrack? Right? Oh man, <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going to do a diss track. <laughs> It's called the diss track in the biz. That's what we call it in the biz, guys. In the biz, diss track. But yeah, I mean, so what, why, why, did, why did the music thing even come up? Because oh, you were saying uh, what, I, what I did before comedy. Is yeah, I was just talking about because uh, you, you played and, music. I guess. Yeah, I don't, you know, I don't, I just, you know, I, I'm, I'm very on edge right now. I feel uh, like we've I, I seen that. Like You've <laughs> been <laughs> outside. It yeah, looks like you're... But I feel like there's a tr another trash you're reacting coming to be or something. You're, you're oh, like you're being interrogated. Yeah. Well, you see us all just staring at you? Yeah. I, I want to try to figure out where we're going to start first. I don't know what's serious. I don't know what's a joke. I don't know what's an insult right now. I'm just very, like, I got my fucking sensors on. <laughs> I see that. <laughs> I don't know, you know. Joe's very, very like, like a reality show star today. He's very, like, Omarosa. <laughs> you know? We're just, just kind of all spinning around him. Yeah, I yeah. was in a bad mood when I got here. Why were you in a bad mood? Let's go with that for a second. Because... Uh, I rode. I got a bike and I rode my bike over. And you know, where's the bike? It's outside. Change it up. So it's you know just for exercise. <laughs> oh, you know, much I hope it's not oh, there. I know you oh, that would make me happy. Wait, Shane and would. the one busted link. And he's standing there with his <laughs> did he say broken heart and his helmet? <laughs> huh? Oh, never mind. He moved. I'm sorry. I, th I so, thought you still lived in the old place, which is two blocks away. I'm like, that's a no, no. hell of a workout routine. No, I live down in uh, Gramercy now. So, but but I but I've been riding around and I noticed this. Th there are guys mainly in trucks that do this thing. They think it's fucking funny, but as they ride, you know, you're riding on the street in New York. It's really fucking scary. Like you yeah. have to be very alert. Not just for cars, like potholes. You just have to be Doors looking opening. constantly. Yeah. I went flying. Hazards, Joe. There's hazards. all kinds of hazards. No, there's yes. hazards. Pitfalls, yes. as we call yeah. them. Uh, <laughs> But guys in trucks, a lot of the time, they like to drive, like, as they're going by you, they scream out the window at you. <laughs> which funny. Yeah, dude, it's funny. You can <laughs> fucking die, dude. Well, I it's mean, funny it's, if I don't know the person. I've never heard that. It's, so, it's like, it's so, it, I get how funny it is. Like, I, it makes me laugh. When Let's I ask Troy Kwan if that's funny. 
But when you're in the moment, it's <laughs> you fucking, you're like, you, it, it's, it what literally you, what could you, be your life, dude. What do you think's happening? Like, someone's hitting you? or You think, like, they're, they're going to drive into you or something. Oh. Do you it's swerve really into parked cars? Scary. How bad does it get for you when they do that? No, you just, you jump. I mean, it, it makes you go like that. You Joe, know? do you do you do anything where you don't get picked on? <laughs> <laughs> well, I got to say, I've ridden a bike in the city, and no one has ever done that to me. There's just something about you, Joe. Yeah. I mean, it helps your comedy, but like, there's you're just something <laughs> you know about you that people just they just don't respect you. A genius is often a genius is often misunderstood. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, much Eight, maligned. Six, yes, yes. <laughs> he, he's ahead of his time with his dick and shit jokes. <laughs> <laughs> but that's kind of funny plan. that they scream like that and they they hope you make a move or something. It's yeah. It's in the moment. It's the like least funny thing ever. It's infuriating. So then can you laugh at yourself after the fact? Uh, yeah, after I, go, I scream, right, you fucking kind of cocksucker at the truck, <laughs> oh, I bet, you know, and then I bet they just, get just like, throwing oh. gas in the fire, like, oh, oh my god, drive around again. Yeah, this yeah. Guy's, yeah, he's playing fucking along. Fucking cocksucker, that would make it worthwhile, because he got pissed. Like, That's I'd absolutely. hate it if he just kept riding and did nothing. You'd be like, ah, fuck. I would I ride a bike just for the amount of people that are texting while driving. Yes. And mm. that you always drift. Always drift yeah. over. It's fucking scary, man. It's but, Joe, dangerous. you're staying alert out there. You know, you, you got staying your head alert. on a swivel. I got my head on a swivel. And I'm going without the helmet these days. Oh, oh shit. Man, that's crazy. I'm riding no helmet. How about you do a helmet? This is I had record. one. It looks so ridiculous in it that I don't want to wear and it. And what, you got to carry that bag with your fucking helmet in it everywhere? Yeah, it's annoying. It's bad enough that you got to carry the water bottle. Yeah. I, I used to leave this Why on the bike and then I ripped it. Oh, man. They could oh, piss in it. I was really the bums probably sucking on it while you're in the building. I just buy a bottle of water from someone. Someone. Why do you carry the water? Because where are you going to carry it? you got to carry it in the holder. No, you when you're done with your bike a ride, you slam a bottle of water. Huh? When you're done with your bike ride. riding, you get thirsty. You need a drink. <laughs> How many miles are you riding? So, just, what is he, Lance Armstrong? Uh, I know. He just... <laughs> why do you he's, he's Joe. Joe. I, we saw him the other night. Yeah. Me and Bobby were watching him, and just watching him putting on his gear, I was just like, he just was looked like the most muggable. Oh, shit. He a just, mark. Yeah, he's just like. What kind of bike gear do you have? You, you he's have got the a helmet nice sometimes. Bike. He has a nice bike. It's an all right bike, yeah. yeah. Hybrid? Hybrid. Went with a hybrid, not the mountain bike? I went with the hybrid. Nice. Well, I went with the Good hybrid choice. because a lady... That I met Lady? 10 minutes before I bought it told me to get a hybrid. I didn't know anything. And I was like, I think I need a bike. And I just went up to a bike lady. And I go, hey, what do you have? And she goes, I'd get a hybrid. And I was like, okay. And I went right to the store. And I was like, I need a hybrid. I started just regurgitating everything oh, she man. said. Again, like the iPhone own? people. I got, it's cheap. I got, are you, it's are you old enough where they tried to upgrade you with the bigger, more comfortable, uh, prostate-friendly seat? <laughs> no, actually. I asked the guy that. I go, should I get a better seat? And he's like, no, just ride the thing. If you don't like it, then, then you get a Bicycle seat. Bicycle seats are, are the worst. Very fair. Like, they, they, the, the most uncomfortable things. Yeah, they, that, they don't little have that tiny out. fucking, just put your asshole on it. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> balance, balls. balance on your Take taint. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> next time Balance a guy, on the undercarriage. Yeah. Joe, next Wonderful. time a guy like tries to cut you off and you pull up next to him, you should throw your fucking book right in his car. Like, oh, that's man. Right. Douchebag. That's right. That'll show. Look what I did. Yeah. Hey, yeah. do you guys what did you have... Do today? What did you do? Do you today? guys have... Uh, I don't have time. Driving, uh, furniture. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> do you guys have stories in that book? Did you guys... Uh, I mean, not that you wrote the book, obviously, but yeah. do you have cheat stories in there? Yeah, we all oh, do. Oh, you all have your little personal... Oh, uh, yeah. That wouldn't be fair. It wouldn't be. Uh, do, do yours work out well, or oh, we're gonna have to buy the book? <laughs> yeah, that's it's uh, all in the book. Oh, it's all in the book. It's You're all able to in say the that book. now. Can I? Ask, was, how, how long did it take to write it? Like all forever, crazy. about a year. Really? Wow. wow, damn. But I mean, a lot of that was just a lot of that was just getting everybody together on you know to go over the yeah. material. That takes forever to coordinate schedules, and then once it was done. There was like, there was <laughs> you like, just glossed over so much shit. I mean, but you know, <laughs> the amount of times just sitting there tapped out, dude, I got nothing. I'm done. Oh, I don't no. know what else, what else the fuck can I write here? Dude, I will never, I will never do it again. Really? It was that bad? I don't think I could write a book on my life. <laughs> I just, <laughs> yeah, you I'm know, out so of I, shit. I was a kid and, uh, and, then you know, and then I went to high school and I uh, didn't do well. Yeah, how do you put then that Then I started doing comedy. A... That's the first 20 years of my life. I could do it in like fucking half a page. <laughs> you got to make it entertaining. And then how do you, where do you put everything and make it I... different than you're just spieling about your life? We somehow did it. That's so funny. It took well, three editors. of us. That's yeah. like that... the moon dogs. That's what I was going to say. That was the worst part of the writing process was like after we thought it was done, mm -hmm. we're like, we did it. Fuck, it's done. Then they were like, no, now we have to go through multiple edits. 
and the copy edit and which all that chapter stuff. should go to the next in front of the next chapter i it, it just you never think of that yeah uh, where do you uh, stop it literally then? when they did that when the editor called with that news it literally felt like in batman begins after he climbs that mountain and they're like <laughs> and then, now you will fight and he's like i can't even stand up <laughs> please don't make us do this right can we now. check with troy to see if that was funny oh boy because no, i thought that was funny thank you uh, Oh, that, I really did. Oh, there he is. There's Troy walking oh, by. There Here we go. Look he just gave you the finger behind your oh, back. Oh, man. He yep. just flipped did you he, off. Did yeah, he really? He did. Yeah. He, he, he's, Are you serious? He yeah. looked it because we looked over. He looked and he went, and went wow. to you. What are you going to do? You know, it's fucking shit. Yeah. You know, I, I don't know. Hey, he was my friend. I don't understand. I think both of you should just hit it. Grab the dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Grab the <da> dollar. <laughs> David Tell, Levity Live Thank this you. weekend. Great comedy uh, club. I liked it. <laughs> yeah, so, fuck. You know, anyway, you got a book? Dave, uh, you've been taking a lot in here today, sir. Yeah, this has been a rough one, guys, uh, but a good yeah. one. You it's know? been good? Yeah. It's good to always be here with other comics. You know, we're missing Jim, of course, who uh, I do the antisocial tour with. And uh, Bill was on that uh, for a while until... Uh, Great yes. time. Great yeah. time. How and, could it uh, not be with that yeah. lineup? Jesus Christ. It was a good time. And you guys went to a couple shows. Yeah, We got one coming up with uh, Amy Schumer and, of course... Uh, Artie Lang and I, it's teetering on fame, Amy Schumer. It's going to be great. She's teetering on that fucking fame thing. Like, yeah. Like yeah, the big she's fame. great. The big Super fame. funny, and uh, we're looking forward to that one. And I just worked with Jim at the Hampton Roads in, um, in uh, what was that? Hampton Beach Casino, right? Hampton Beach. in. That's a crazy Ham area. It's in New Hampshire. Yeah, it's the Redneck Riviera, dude. You go to the strip club <laughs> afterwards? We went to the Stephen King uh, Putt Putt Golf Course. Uh, nice. I'm trying to use my Maine references. Nice. <laughs> like if you're from Maine, if you're from Maine, that, that's got to be like the ultimate. We're going to Hampton Beach. No way, really? Right. Yeah. Bring all your uh, cannons and other stuff for trading and syrups and like I don't know Maine money. You know, bring your flannel. Something. Pelt, pelts. But yeah, it was, it was uh, it's a good time, and I'm I'm looking forward to it. But I have to say, this was. An interesting show because we had that battle, and then oh, this, yeah. this guy, the hero guy, he is a he hero. He's great. Yeah. I mean, like, he's like, you know, he's a real man. He, wow. He's for charity. A man. Yeah, Putting his should... own safety aside for others. That's like, he very, must work uh, on that great. show, Mansers. Oh, he... <laughs> man. Mans <laughs> Mansers. Please tell me there's not a show. Uh, yeah, of course there is. There is. There is. Oh, God. God. Is that Spike TV? Spike TV. Uh, of course. course. What we, other channel, right? <laughs> who, are we, who are we trashing? Uh, Anyone we know? Anyone hosting that show? No, we they know? don't have a host on it. Man uh, Mansers. Like, what, what, are they, what do they delve into? Right? Give me an example of something they would delve I, into. I, I don't know. Like, steal like, a car with a coat hanger and take a yeah. check out for five bucks. You know, like one of those kind uh, of That'd like, be dude. interesting if it was about, like, prostate cancer and testicular cancer. Just Mansers. That'll be <laughs> old <laughs> Mansers. Get it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I thought it was funny. All right. Well, Troy Kwan. Well, I gotta get the humor. Troy. You know, actually, what, what show I saw on Spike that was actually a uh, creepy was uh, Thousand Ways to Die. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh, I've seen that the, one. Yeah, the, yeah. the reenactments were brutal. <laughs> yeah, they're I don't trying, know what they're going for on that show. Funny spin on electric electrocution. This is the dude who was tried to do that thing where you you ever see those guys where they, they got their car going around in a circle and they stand outside of it? Yes. Yeah. 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 He somehow he got he oh he, he wanted to be on top of it. And he's got his car going. He loses his balance. Balance. It, he falls down, hits his head. The car runs over his legs. Oh. He can't get up. It comes back around again. His legs are spread. And they show, like, his skeleton. No, come on. Right over his crotch, right straight up his torso. And then his head, like, popped like a fucking pumpkin. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. <laughs> Dude, and, they, and then they, they cut to the graphic of basically you watch his entire pelvis get crushed <laughs> by the weight of the car. So that's basically his junk. Gets flattened yeah, yeah, yeah. right up the vitals. Jesus! Like, oh yeah, it, it was. I was. It's a un, very unsettling show. Uh, yeah, yeah. Joe, yeah, so I, I think like you should shows. be able to take someone yelling at you on your bike. It could be a lot worse. What they could ride up my pelvis? Yeah, yeah. With their See, that's some real shit going yeah, on. Well, here's uh, a, that's some real shit going on yeah, right Joe, there. That, that, you, you can't. How, how do you get that mad at like eight in the morning? <laughs> did you Did you guys see? I'm always oh, angry. Did Why? you guys see Obama on Letterman? Did you see oh, that? Oh, yeah, course. You know, I was thinking because I was like, I didn't know he was doing the whole show. I didn't know it was like a whole in depth thing. I was thinking like. I feel so sorry for the poor comic. They're going to oh, it's the gotta go on after. <laughs> Would you oh, yeah. climb Everest with sharks on top or follow Obama on Letterman? Like, I, like, <laughs> I feel sorry. I don't know who it's going to be. It better you know be what's funny, too, is they probably, guy. when he's down there, they have you, like, sequestered upstairs in your dressing <laughs> oh, room. Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't Do come out. Don't hey, look at him. 
I like to kind of try and stand there on the side and take it in for half a second and be like, you know, get a little comfortable. Yeah, yeah, no, sir, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. You can't, no. you can't come down here. Stay in there. That's what's no, cool about this? our country, right. man. <laughs> yeah, man. Our head dudes go on our talk shows. Is that <laughs> happening in Pakistan and I wherever the so. burning places that are? Yeah, no. <laughs> dude, we don't have talk shows there. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even imagine the security. They must have had that place locked down. The whole yeah. fucking two blocks, a two block radius on every side. It was, was locked uh, down around here. It was we're, done. We're kind of far from. I there. had to try to get somewhere, and it was like yeah. I was no, with around. the Tonight Cops Show. I mean. Everywhere. What? Uh, I mean, when he was on the Tonight Show. Tonight Show? No, I was on Obama. Letterman. Letterman. Was just on oh, Letterman. It was on Letterman. Yeah, yeah here oh, in New York. A couple sorry, days ago. Yeah. Crazy. This whole area was in when a I, I was in... Uh... See, I was trying right now to go, if you were a comic man, you would know the difference. Because uh... <laughs> comics know these things. <laughs> <laughs> comics know Letterman and Leno. <laughs> when, the, uh... I, when I was in uh, Orlando, uh, not bragging, <laughs> um, <laughs> I came down... You know, it's been staying there for a couple of days. I'm at the hotel and I come down and all of a sudden they fucking install a metal detector and all this stuff saying we got this guest coming. I thought like Prince was coming in or some <laughs> shit. Right. And uh, it turned it was the president. Wow. He came in. He stayed there for like just overnight and then left. But they were doing all that stuff, you know, where they call you sir, like 50 different ways. Sir, excuse <laughs> me, sir. Sir, if you go outside, you're going to have to come back in. If I literally went outside the door with my cell phone by myself in the big glass they could see me i still had to go through the metal detector wow. <laughs> of course i didn't handle that well no of course really? not fucking fuck fuck fucking fuck <laughs> fuck fuck yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> fuck, and fuck, fuck. Uh, that's cool. yeah it's that's ridiculous really cool man my friend did a did a thing at a baseball stadium it might have been a, you know yankee stadium or whatever but uh clinton was there um soft hands because he was throwing out the first pitch <laughs> or something money all his life yeah, yeah, and uh, he said uh, he said they were down on the field because he was repping this this music group that was performing at the game. So they were down on the field where Clinton was and stuff. And he said they looked up and every single person that was on the field had their own gunman on them. <laughs> this was after he was president. Holy shit! You had your own gunman. So if any shenanigans get pulled, you're dead. You're, you're, just you're already dead. in the crosshairs. Yeah, just dead in two fucking seconds. <laughs> It just shows you how That's far security's come since the days of Lincoln. No kidding. Yeah. <laughs> you just yeah. attack a president of theater. You know, like, that. that it's, it's fucking insane, man. That is uh, it's very... The wor- it's the worst fucking job you could ever have. Have to be. The president? It's just not worth no, it. Why? So not worth it. Not making any money. And They're not making yeah, any money. You owe everybody you. all those favors. Can't make any uh, real changes. All those dinners you have to go to? Oh, God. Oh, Raising God. money. Shaking oh. hands. Ugh. Uh, why? <laughs> yeah, but you know, it's only fifty grand to get into that dinner. We could all like chip in, and like one of us could go. Yeah, I think that pull a name out of a hat. Yeah, why why not? representative. Like, represent the fucking best oboe player in the no, world comes the to the man. White House, and you got to sit there like you give a shit and yeah. listen for ten <laughs> minutes. That's, that's incredible. Uh, well, right. you're a, a genuine. Uh, you're an American treasure. They got to say things yeah. like that. You can't come down in your pajamas at your house. You always got to no. put that fucking suit on. <laughs> Come down there, huh? Hey, how are you? Scratch your balls, Where is this man. guy's country? Oh, yeah. That's fantastic. What And what are we doing there? Yeah. What, what do I say to him? How do you say, how's it going in fucking ippy jwibby? <laughs> There's no fucking way. I swear to I would, I would like, I would announce two years, maybe a year and a half in my presidency that I'm not, I'll do the Lyndon Johnson. I yeah. will not seek, no. nor will I accept the nomination. For whatever fucking party oh. I'm in. Oh, he must have been so... He, he was the only just, smart guy. He, he was so had good. it. It's like, fuck yeah, that. That Vietnam War thing. Oh. Imagine having a... You just hear people chanting Dude, that, baby killer that picture, outside your house every night. That picture yes. where he's got his he's got his head... He's making the yeah, fist. Yeah, he has yeah. his head down. He's just like, oh, oh. That's it right there. That's, yeah. that's being the president. Sums it up. That's Instagram. <laughs> I, I had a, I had yeah, what a, filter would you use for that yeah. picture? Yeah, that's the miserable filter. <laughs> I met this guy in Quagmire. <laughs> Quagmire. I'd go with Kelvin I, myself. Boondoggle. <laughs> I met this guy in D.C. who claimed that his buddy flew uh, the presidential helicopter, and he described one time George W. getting into the helicopter, and I don't know, some sort of exhale, or just the look on his face. Oh. His buddy just thought, I would never want that fucking job. <laughs> the fucking pressure it's, he's got it's on just, you. Constantly too, and no matter what you do, half the fucking country hates is, it. You're, a you're dick. wrong. You're, you're a, a dick. dick. Every, Everything you say it's like tw- is picked it's like apart. Twitter to the fucking nine oh. zillion power. <laughs> Imagine everything you say for all those years are is picked apart. Yeah. Like you can't even speak off the cuff. The, did you hear what it? Huh? Let's pick it apart on the news and see what he really meant. And but 
That'd be terrible. Dude, when Obama killed the fly, and then he's going to make a fucking comment to PETA about why oh, he it's killed fucking the fly. It just, it just goes. It's just it's the worst. It's the worst fucking job. Why? Even that shit Romney just said that was uh, so scandalous. I was yeah, watching yeah, it. I was yeah. like, "That's it. That's all he said." That's I get it. what he was trying to say. He, he was just talking right. about bums. Yeah. <laughs> bums. And then they tried to they tried to make it seem like he was talking about people like who make less Half than the this. country. No, yeah. not hey, that's that. My audience. And he was also talking about the election, <laughs> not the presidency. He was talking about these people don't want. They won't vote for me anyway. So I need to get the 5% undecided to vote for me. He wasn't saying once I get in office, totally I'm going to fuck sense. these people. It totally that makes sense. my sense. audience. Yeah, yeah. You come up, pay with food stamps and a fake disability. <laughs> <laughs> Take your neck braces off. Don't worry, folks. <laughs> your secret's good with me. <laughs> Levity yeah, Live, and, David Tell, this uh, weekend. And everybody knew. <laughs> everybody right. knew what the fuck he meant. They just twisted. All right. You know what? You got it. You had to distract from the the fact that Obama might not have handled that Middle East thing quite right, so they had to deflect. I know because yeah, th there's because there's a right way to handle. I know it. there's not. Uh, look, look, <laughs> Bill, Ed, how would you have handled it? Hey, let me tell you something, Bill. <laughs> yeah. I think you're shit right now. Oh, he's standing up. Uh, he's doing again. it to Rosa. I'm doing it to Rosa up. on you. I'll tell you right. one thing. That's an embassy. <laughs> I'm accepting that, that I'm the go-to douche today. <laughs> Wait, did you see that place? That's a fucking embassy. We're the United States of America. This isn't the United States of fucking uh, douchebag land, okay? Right. Uh, <laughs> two rooms, a chandelier, and a fucking half-ass pool with no diving board. That's it? That's not even an embassy suite. I fucking have stayed in better places. We, what are we showing these people? Uh, shit. They're shimming over a wall. Uh, that's it? <laughs> <laughs> we got to show them how rich and powerful we were. Right. Like a fucking, uh, yeah, Moats. like a water slide. Or right. in there. Huge. A yes. Yeah. Like two, like, giant titties. They got to, like, rub them and the door opens or something. Gold America. Play, you know? Everything gold plated. Something. Yes. Powerful. That's our embassy. Yeah. yeah. Bunch of women frolicking and enjoying uh, their lives. Yeah. yeah. That was that like the starter <laughs> house. Like yeah. if you were like a, like a, like one of the kids on Community or something, like that's like the first house you buy with your yeah. first paycheck. It should look like a supervillain's <laughs> lair. It, the, yeah. the entrance should be a snake mouth that you walk through. <laughs> we're Americans, God damn it. We yeah. should show that's it off right. a little bit. All well, right? Bill, I wasn't saying there's a good uh, right way or wrong way to handle it, but if you look now, they were completely denying the fact that this might have been a terrorist uh, event that was mm -hmm. pre-planned and everything and saying, no, it's uh, because of that video that was put out. And now they're like, yeah, it was a terrorist event. And people were saying, look, it, it was absolutely a terrorist event. Libya was saying, yes, this was a terrorist event. And uh, the, the White House just kept saying, no, no, it's, it's just a movie. Don't worry. There's no solution. Anthony. And then they got caught. There's no solution. No? I'll There's tell you. Not. Is there really not, no solution? And it doesn't make a fucking difference. They're not in office for you. They're not in office for me. They just... <sighs> Yeah, 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 but can I like a fucking pilot fish, like go alongside and get some, get a little uh, nibble off of, of, off of their thing, no, a, even if they're there just down. for themselves? It trickles down. I like the trickle down. You like sticking your tongue out? Hey, I like being a little a higher up on the trickle. <laughs> huh? I like being a little higher up on the you trickle. You know what I like? I don't. I can't figure out a way where you get to stop. What do you guys uh, when do you get to just yeah. stop working? When, could, oh, when, when, oh, when do you have, like, enough <laughs> where I can be like, you know what? No matter what. The whole thing is so fucked. Like, <laughs> you work all week, and you get money, and it's just, uh, just numbers on a piece of paper. Then you give it to these fucking assholes. <laughs> you just give it to these corrupt assholes. And well, you you put a thousand in the bank, they can legally loan four grand off a thousand. They counterfeit three grand right off the fucking top. And it's just like... If you're like, okay, I'm not going to put it in the stock market. I'll just put it in the bank. And then one day you show up, and then the bank fucking foreclose, whatever. It just it closes. So you closes. Can't, you just no can't. To... The only way to do it is, is you just have a pile of money, and then you have to sit there with a then shotgun you all worry day. About getting <laughs> ordering yeah. food. It's real estate, guys. Ordering food all fucking days. You become a tub of shit and have a heart attack. There's no way. Like, when can I just chill? When can I just have the fucking lawn chair? I don't want. All I want is just a fucking house that it's paid for. And just be, uh -huh. be done. But, but then, but then you get your gallbladder you... gets fucked up, and it's going to cost you ninety grand just to get it checked. <laughs> they fucking take a big chunk away. It's just it, you can't stop. It's, you fucking, can't it's, stop. It's miserably depressing. It's miserably depressing. I have a bit that I'm doing about how you're never free your whole life. There's so eight you got fucking. Troy why, yeah, you why don't you try it out? Yeah, stand up and but, yell it at him, you fucking but, maniac. <laughs>
I think we need an update from Troy Kwan before we leave today. Fucking attack today. You're right, Joe. You're right, Joe. You're right, Joe. We're sorry. Jesus, don't yell at us. Joe, you're right. You need a birthday cake. You kind of ruined. You ruined my morning. I wanted to come in here. I apologize. I wanted to come in and have a good time, and I just it was in the middle of the he said, she said. I wanted to speak on what you were saying. I have a bit. Just don't yell at Joe. A bit about how there's eight stages in life, and you're never free between work, kids, whatever it is. You're never free, and that just thinking about that. That all the time. It makes me so depressed. I lay in bed at night and I just wow. think about when is it's never happened. You gotta just relinquish all care. It's, you just gotta not. Well, what are you, what give are you worried it? about, that's Joe? The, and that's that's. The, what am I what? worried about? Yeah, why don't you just yeah. go for a bike ride and just kind of just oh, man. Like those, preferably let those, not a high traffic thoughts, area. <laughs> let those thoughts flow out of you. Well, I live day to now? day. What uh, stage is this? This, day to I'm, day. In a, I'm in grown up. Okay. You don't live day to day. You, you're sitting there hoarding fucking weapons. Well, that's true. You're but definitely th thinking that's about the future. That's why I can continue living day to day. No, I genuinely <laughs> enjoy <laughs> shooting things. There's, it's a pisser. But, but you know, uh, shooting what? a gun's I one of the great things to, in life. It's so much fun. But think it's of just so much fun to shoot and to tr hit your target. It's wonderful. Sons of guns. Th think about yeah. this. This is this is really what I think about. <laughs> yeah. Right, this is what Joe thinks about everyone. This is really depressing. <laughs> yeah. You realize how fragile your fucking life after those shootings and all that stuff. Do you realize how fucking fragile your life really is? You're <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's hilarious. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sorry. Jeff. Yeah. No, no, I'm it's fine. To find something. Yeah, uh, but it's <laughs> yeah, it's so good. fucking fragile. So no matter what you do, whether you worry about the stuff Bill's talking about, whether you go out and make a shitload of money, whether you're broke, none of it matters because you're just going to be fucking dead. I'm an <laughs> Oh. And that's what's so fucking scary to me. I'm an armed citizen, Mr. DeRosa. I won't take that shit in a movie theater. I'll lay down some fucking f fire. Well, aside I'll from, lay down now, some how, fire. How many yeah. innocent people would have taken it to the back of the head as you finally got that guy? Let me. Let me. That's this is the thing. This is, all right. This is the you. thing about that. Where everybody, everybody goes, yeah. if everybody was allowed to yeah, carry true. a gun, uh -huh. we wouldn't need I movies. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> make our own. Right. Right. Oh, yeah. Plow, plow, plow. <laughs> I hear Sorry, you. Bill. I know exactly and, what and you're saying. <laughs> Look, everybody can get a driver's license. How many truly good drivers are out there? The amount of fucking people who can't drive. Now, so I just, think the driving you, you just, test should be more stringent. And so it should be the gun thing. Well, you maybe. should be a fucking marksman. I, I honestly think you should. Uh, Before be very, you just give somebody a goddamn gun, you, you should, should learn it. You should be able to be like that cowboy who pulls oh, the gun weapon. out and two balloons pop. Two pop looks, yeah, almost yeah. like simultaneously. Like it's fake. Yeah. Yeah. Before you can just uh, walk yeah. into a theater with a goddamn gun. Here's here's my take on the whole thing though, and I understand the thing of oh, innocent bystanders. He might have hit somebody. Stuff. What's worse than a guy with a rifle shooting at a group of unarmed people that can't get out the door? What could be worse than that? A Nothing. Pedophile coaching a football team. All oh, right. That's David what Tell, what? Levity Live this weekend. I think if someone's actually shooting back at the bad guy, We're together today, regardless if he hits good. him or not, or at least it distracts him to think, "Wow, I'm being shot back at." Maybe I should not no, just no, no, no. stand I'm here not, and I'm shoot at saying, the innocent people. Listen, I'm not yeah. saying that some citizens yeah. shouldn't be armed. It's like everybody shouldn't be a comedian. Uh huh. <laughs> Joe oh, Rosa. Wow. <laughs> that is, wow. Holy shit. Joe, you just take it so goddamn You're, serious. Just have fun. Wow. Can you just yeah. have some oh, fun? Man. My fun oh, is done today. Oh, Joe DeRosa. <laughs> Fun's gone. Fun's wow. gone. Jesus. Oh, it's not fun. You're, you're I'm going to be at Caroline's fun later. Today, We're going to drink huh? Joe. Huh? Me and you going to drink at Caroline's later? Oh, I'm going to drink heavily yeah. tonight, Come on. Anthony. Oh, I'm fun. right in the booze mood. I like it. I'm, are you coming to the late show? I'm coming to both. Woo! Yeah, I want to hang. I want to fucking hang. Can we get an update from Troy Kwan before we wrap yeah, up this yeah. mess? Good. And by the way, Greg uh, Packer was on the news. The, That's what uh, Sam was I'm pointing sorry, at. I'm sorry. I'm just by, and, Joe, I'm going to tease oh, yeah, you yeah, yeah. into enjoying Told yourself you. this morning at some fucking point. I was had. I, I Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. Here we go again. Here we go again. I didn't mean right now. I love how Opie sets it up and then goes, Jesus oh, Christ, what a mess I, I, this I, I, is going to be. I don't know be. what happened. You just oh, requested I'm losing stuff. control of this whole place. <laughs> David Tell, Levity Live. Uh, Hi, Troy. Thank right. so much for having right. oh, Mom and Dad it. are back in the room. <laughs> Troy, <laughs> we just want like a little closure and maybe, a, maybe a little update because it's been about an hour or so at this point. Did he? Did you really give me the finger when you walked by? Was that true? No, you no, give no, it no, no. Oh, no we were, were just fucking with you. <laughs> you just, it's, seriously, what's wrong hey, yeah. with you? Because yeah, you take the bait, too. <laughs> because you take the bait the same way those guys in the truck yell at you and then you yell, you fucking cocksucker. You just made their day. I just don't understand this world we Your first mistake was trusting us. 
with oh. the uh, info we gave you. Well, you know. He just walked by. We just decided to go with that. Build a friendship with somebody yeah. you think you could trust him a little bit. <laughs> we, we had a little bonding the other day. We right? did it a All nice right. bond. Did good. And you fucked me today. <laughs> <laughs> Troy, any update uh, as far as the problem I'm goes with you and Joe DeRosa? I'm just stretching my pants out. It's fine. Uh, it's... I think we go with a hug, I'm, I'm thinking. A little hug. I Listen. I it could be one of those man hugs. I would like to be cool with Troy again. Right. I'd like to be friends with him again. What I don't want to happen, though, is after I say this, then if you're, if you don't, if you're not going to take that from me, meaning the apology or whatever... Then, oh shit! You know what I mean? It's like it's. it's, it's <laughs> Sorry, I was, I, I, was on, I was online. I looked up and went, "Oh, this is happening." Again. <laughs> and then Joe's like, "I don't fucking know." He jumped at me. I'm sorry. Oh my god, I'm Joe! Sorry. Joe! I'm, like, Joe. I'm, I'm emotional. <laughs> David I Tell love, put a line of water down. I fucking I love, love this. Let's stay on uh, your I side of the water. A line of smart water. <laughs> I love Eric and DeRosa. Holy shit. Jeez, Joe. You got to relax. I don't, care what, bait, I don't care what bait you put on the hook. Joe's biting. <laughs> every time. Every morning. Who every morning. The line Even the of shitty water bait. That I put on there. <laughs> Fuck, Joe. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've been just a, want an update. I've been place these days. And I think a hog is in order here. with some stuff. What are you dealing with now? I just, you know, I'm 35. Oh, I man. live alone. Oh, I don't have a girl. Oh, I don't have a dog. Come oh, CBS this fall. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. I'll put, I'll put the network Damn on. Damn it, tell how many lives. I'm auditioning for, uh, for that new Matthew Perry show. No. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> Jesus, Joe. <laughs> oh. Troy? You feel bad for Joe at this point? Seems like his life yeah. is unraveling. A little bit, yeah. yeah. No! Oh. 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 <laughs> no, my point is I'm a little on edge is my point. Yeah, But little, here's the thing. It's, I, I, I want to be cool with Can Troy, drag but I just else down with you. I'm saying I'm cool, <laughs> and then you're misery. going, hey, well, fuck you, then I guess we can be cool then. Dude. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, yeah. Yeah. like it's an honest truth. No. You, said some, you, said some, you just said some hurtful things. You no. know? Just, but you, you know, know what? The Troy thing was deep, dude. That's Troy Kwan. Hold on, hold on. Troy Kwan was listening in the other room because he does. Who's Troy Kwan? That guy. Oh. Did Joe make you laugh? No, I, I mean, I, I, I mean, I, I mean, I, what are you supposed? What are you supposed to do with this guy? I know. What, what do you do? What do you I, don't do to, I don't have to lie. I mean, I'm there was some the funny truth. stuff he said I mean, after you left, and I know you were listening. Like, Troy, you told me you brought a girl to my show and you were embarrassed. Well, I mean, oh, I mean, Troy, wow. Wow. embarrassed. Oh, Troy, geez, do you want me, I mean, do you want me to talk to you honestly about this? Why would you bring this? that up? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. yeah talk okay. I, I went on. You guys can do double dutch. Oh man. Yeah. Talk to me honestly. You may have been having a bad night. Uh, it was oh, a rough no. I don't know. I don't know. I've never it was Caroline's, right? Oh, wow. Yeah. It was on Sunday night. So yeah. it was a little bit Anthony, can you do like right? a tampon yes. I read the show. It was underneath a good show. this? <laughs> yeah. well, you, you were complaining Maxi about the crowd it. being a tough crowd. You guys, I said they were not the fucking greatest crowd, but it wasn't a bad yeah, like, show. You guys are rough, man. You guys are tough because nobody was laughing. When you don't feel fresh, use messenger. The pre-mixed, pre-measured, disposable douche. What did you say? I was doing a Massengill douche commercial. Because we have pussies. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. This is like this is like Anthony. When Kryptonite you get that right itch, now. you can't scratch. <laughs> Use Vagisil. This is the worst thing Vagisil. for him. Let's just drink a beer and shoot a gun. Yes. <laughs> oh, he doesn't like real emotions. Oh, we know that. We all have beer problems and shooting room. guns. We'll acknowledge that. Yeah. What's about your problems today, Joe DeRosa? Try. I thought it was all funny. about you today, Joe. I thought I thought <laughs> Joe was funny today. You just hijacked. The Bill says that. Dude, we were you know, What did we say? Joe? We were going to come in. We were going to start making fun of Bobby. Maybe Bobby was going to call in. I was so excited to come in here. We didn't get any of that, did we? Because you were fucking screaming. <laughs> I came what walking do you want? in. What do you want? He, oh, I Jesus. come in, he tells He's me He's standing up again. Oh, He's my standing God. Up You're again. standing up, too. I'm leaning against the wall. <laughs> I guess. I'm just, you just <laughs> killed it. Bill's you hurting a little bit it. today. Yeah, huh? Good <laughs> Lord. Bit. I gotta, Can you guys I gotta, hug at least or something? Oh, geez. We need an ending. Uh, it's what, Joe, for the we listeners, like open, for the open listeners just lines. end the goddamn thing. Uh, it's look, I just, I just it, oh, reach out your hand for a handshake, but don't cross the water line that David Tell put down, please. You don't like it? No, I like you it. You like the jumping rope <laughs> thing? No. I have put a line of water on the carpet. David Tell, let me Troy, see, you guys just get Troy, together and we'll see who has the bigger camel toe. <laughs> 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 I'm getting dry here. <laughs> you think David tells funny, Troy? Oh fuck yeah! There you go. And Bill Burr. Oh, oh, yeah. 
I don't know what to say now, Joe. Wow. Yeah, so I he know. is a fan of comedy, Joe. <laughs> oh, wow. He does I like it on that some much level. Out. You know I what know. the sad part is, Troy? I am the least funniest guy in this room. So oh, stop it, Dave. Dave. No, Dave don't don't, don't say please. that about you yourself. Stop it, Dave. Don't say it's that. It's a graveyard in here, people. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Well, what are you going to do? We tried. How about a handshake? Why? No, no handshake. What does that signify? I mean, why? It's like Joe, because Joe, we really... don't want you to ruin any more programs. We want this <laughs> no, to end. No. It's over. <laughs> We're not going to fight anymore. It's fine. No. That's what they always say. All right. <laughs> Jesus. All right, Troy. I guess it's not going to happen. I thought. Yeah. I, I thought we could get something nice going on here today, but What's Joe's, Joe's, like really... Joe's doesn't want to. At do least that. read something from your book or something. Oh, Come an excerpt. Huh? Are we allowed to read any of this? I don't think oh, so. No. Nope. And by the way, a Derosa. <laughs> No, really? No, I don't think. I think it's too. They told us like we're not allowed. I don't know either way. I'm just sick of hearing Joe's voice. Amish Annie. Yeah, right. Get it out on our big radio show. No, no, no. They want us to plug it. They just don't want us to reveal content. Oh, really? Yeah. We kind of did that today. Well, you know, what are you gonna do? Look, you've you've damaged a lot of things in my life today. I. Wow. Wow. wow! wow! You know, you know, I've always, I've always felt that he felt that about you. Yeah, I felt that. All right, Joe. Just, hey, Joe, and I was being way, nice today. By the way, Derosa, I was being nice today, Joe. I'll Classic see you in the healthy. fucking elevator. Oh boy! Are oh, yeah, you guys still doing that yeah, elevator? Well, thing? Well, glare Jeez. it out, Glary. <laughs> we might as well. <laughs> I'm going. I'm out. going there. But yeah, more importantly, are these two still doing the elevator? Thing? Nah, it's fine. We're, we're fine. Take it's it outside, fine. Cool. bitches. Cool. 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 What can we do here? A little uh, fist bump, maybe. We're cool. Start with that. I'm fine, Joe. To the face. I'll show. I'll shake Joe's hand if he wants. Joe, even though it's not, you know, there's no meaning behind it. Can you do it? Oh boy. Yeah. Because it's kind of symbolic. Of what? I don't know. Of what? Because <laughs> I just want to be, you know. Just put your ego the aside. Way to end things. Reach over. Comedian and yeah. DJs have to start getting yes. along better. Right. When are they going to come in? <laughs> and here it is. This is like oh, when boy. fucking like Carter this. had uh, Sadat and Bagan yeah. shake their hands. Yeah. Yeah. Right here. Photo op right and there. And we all know in the end that hey, didn't mean huge, shit. Huge so photo op. Huge photo group. op right here. Right. Here we go. Here it Bowl's is. ready to Instagram this shit. I'm up to the line. All right, David tells get out of the way. Wasn't Carter broke? Carter was. Oh, oh, there it is. All right, how about the hug now? Hug, come on. Hug? Go the Bill, hug. what do you think? Come on, Joe. Uh, Bill. Joe, bury it. Yeah, come bury on. It, Joe. Bury it right here now. Open your You're the bigger Joe. man, Joe. You're the bigger man. Wow. All right, open, open oh, mouth God. kiss. Open mouth kiss. <laughs> Come on, jerk each other off. There Come on go. now. There we go. There you go. See, yeah. did you there feel you the go. whole energy just change? Docking, yeah. docking. Now we can do a radio show. <laughs> oh, we're out of time. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell Levity Live. <laughs> Joe DeRosa, his farewell feature performance. Yeah, we're going to have to reevaluate things. the Comedy Club. We all know Troy Kwan actually runs this place, so. Famous Look, radio shock jock Anthony Cumia I'd like to. at Caroline's tonight. Yes, I'm going to be there. I'm going to see that goddamn show twice. I'm going tonight Bill, or you're, tomorrow. You're you're tonight. I will be at that, Caroline's tonight. And tomorrow, right? Uh, listening to Joe scream some more. Oh, that man. is going to be a great show. I, I'm going to give that five crescents. <laughs> Honestly, that's going to be an excellent show. I wish I could go to that show. Well, I wish I could come to yours, Dave. Yeah. Well, <laughs> in a perfect world. Well, my show's at a mall, so take that, New York City Broadway. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I like we... the malls. <laughs> oh, Joe. Oh, Joe. <laughs> That's how we pay the bills, Joe. <laughs> oh, Good. Oh, Joe. Good, Joe. Thank you. You'll Way never go. get your weight in He's gummy bears now. <laughs> my livelihood. <laughs> yeah, that's our livelihood, Joe. Oh, oh, no. Joe. Yeah, you're you right. Know, I deal can't. with it. Joe, Joe and Troy right, in the morning. Does we it even up. matter which one you give me at this point? This one. <sighs> you know, it? something value. Value for your money, people. <laughs> <laughs> Most companies, they don't even know what that means, right? But uh, Dish does. Of course they do. You want more value, don't you? <laughs> they got packages with more of the channels you want to watch, more of the most innovative features in TV and best of all. <laughs> Holy shit, that was scary. <laughs> Just throwing things at That's me. like yelling out of a truck while, ah, while you're biking, Joe. That's not nice. A great price, of course. Dish has this uh, DVR called The Hopper. It delivers uh, HD shows to up to four rooms in your home. You can watch TV now when and where <laughs> <laughs> you want. <laughs> the Hopper also has primetime anytime. It's a feature that lets you record all four networks' primetime television and TV automatically. Oh, my God. I thought that was full. <laughs> <laughs> that would suck. Uh, mm. Technology's great. Come on. But how about that price? That's what value uh, value is all about. Ask about the packages starting at just nineteen ninety nine a month. You're going to find something that fits your life. <laughs> At just oh, the come right on, Anthony, be a pro. Price. Here. <laughs> yes. And come on. Exactly. Stop paying more for TV. <laughs> <laughs> Call Dish. You know, 
Thank you. One eight 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 seven seven zero dish. That number's one eight 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 seven seven zero three four seven four dish. Let's watch that had, TV. That had nothing to do uh, with Dave uh, Tell at Levity Live. No, Very exactly. confused. Now. What was that? Very about? confused. You know, it's good to see a couple of white kids bury the hatchet. That was I nice, know, Joe. Really good to see. You're nice. the bigger man today, because mm. I know you didn't want to do that. Yeah, so you could take Joe. that home with you and build on it. You could build feel, on that shit. I feel good that we shook and hugged. I do. Oh, yeah, Joe, so now you don't have to have, like, the fake argument of what you wish you said on your bike ride home. <laughs> <laughs> Screaming, looking like a psycho. Oh, yeah? The yeah. jerk store called. Uh, I'm not funny. I'm not, is that why I got three CDs? <laughs> oh, you're riding no. down the street. <laughs> Are we done, really? Said that. We're done, huh? Oh, fuck. Thanks yeah. for having me in, guys. All right, it's we know fun. David Tell is going to be at Levity Live. It, it's a great yes. club, and of course, David Tell is an amazing comic Thank in that you so mall much, there dude. at uh, oh, the yeah. Palisades Mall in Nyack, <laughs> West Nyack. Oh, it's whoa, on the way whoa. to the Verrazano. No, yeah. not the Verizon, the, uh, the uh, Tap and Z. Tap and Z. Tap and Z. Right, right, right. Up that way. Tap and Z. And Joe, what do you got today? What's the plug? Uh, well, Thank Cheat, you. the book, and the movie, October 9th, both coming out. And also, my, my new web series, What Are We Waiting For?, comes out in October. I just did an episode with you and Burr. And yeah, Ann I had, had a great time. One. We had a great time. Did one with Jimmy Norton. Yeah. So that comes out in October on YouTube.com slash The Warner Sound. Can I say no. one thing? Yeah. Jim Norton tonight, uh, Showtime Extreme, Extreme uh, Dave's Thanks. Old Porn at uh, 1235. So check I'm it out. Nice, what, hey, isn't Jim, Nor Jim Norton's doing uh, Funny, Bone. Funny Bone in Columbus? Yes. Columbus. Yes. Yes. Columbus this Columbus. evening. Columbus. Help him out because He's got to do three shows tomorrow night. Oh, really? That's Jesus. rough for you guys, the three-show thing. Three That's also shows. a good thing, man. I, I couldn't fill that out. That's no? pretty cool. Crazy. And uh, Bill, Caroline's. Yes, that is Caroline's the show to tonight. watch. Yes, sir. But I want to see Dave Attell, too. How do I do You got to see Dave. You got to go to the Maybe King. Maybe I go see Dave King right. first. And then, and then you see the subject. I would you go see the Bill. King first, then you see his subject. Uh, uh, can we close circuit your thing into Caroline's? Uh, I'm sure, yeah. And we can multitask, well, watch two shows one time? You know, it's at the mall. You got to see it, Dave Attell. He's the greatest. I know he is. Amazing. Great. Listen, just go to the kiosk, and the guy there will just let you know the highlights. Let's make but Dave I, uncomfortable yes, and just compliment him. Yeah, how really brilliant we think. You know, it's really good. Like if I, was now, I gotta tell you, my 20 years of doing comedy, you, you, you're, you're the best. <laughs> no, no, but you, I, no, no, you, you are. Know I hate you a compliment, are. Right? I know you do. I'm just but trying like to make you. No, 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 you. You right now. Let's keep it on I would have came in my pants. I would have been like, yes. Keep going. In my head, there's even more evil than you can ever think. And old porn's coming back. Yeah, oh, November 8th. You do that. A new uh, season. Yep. Uh, nice. Kathy Griffin, Joe Rogan, Mark Marin, uh, yeah. so many great people. Andy Dick. So, so many great people, great comics. And those old porn stars are trying to get on our show now because they think Oh, they do? Yeah, it's, uh, Seika, I think, is trying to get on. Seika, uh, uh, beautiful. She's on tonight, I think. So. Is she? All right, yeah. good. Next time you're in, let me, call, let me call in or something. I'd love to like, uh, shoot it up. Or just come back when she's in. Uh, you That's got it, easy, dude. too. Uh, yes, Anthony. What happened? You know, Dish... No, no. Dish gives you value for the money. <laughs> 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 You're reading it. This is very cool. It's very news like. Uh, Dish. Ladies and gentlemen. Look, he can do it out the script. Let me tell you something. Dish gives you value for your money. Yes. Uh, a lot what of kind people. Of value uh, that, well, uh, it's great television. Of course it at is. At a great price with great innovation. How about this little thing? It's called the Hopper. It's uh, a DVR. You could record up to four rooms in your house. That's incredible. Four different shows. That's incredible. Uh, actually, six. If I uh, looked at the copy, I would know it's actually six. But six four rooms. primetime HD shows. How do I get it? Uh, well, you got to call um, one eight seven eight 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 seven seven zero. Wait a minute, Ann, I'm getting the sinking suspicion that you're not just speaking off the top of your Dish. head about this right now. Look, is this a, just a, a great call them? Get Joe, your Joe, they're dish. trying to make money here. Joe, Jesus, Joe. Play this along. is our yeah, livelihood. Yeah, 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 you're, 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 you're trashing you're taking trash shots at our livelihood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, you, you really said <laughs> that? Right? Right? I didn't dream that, right? That was so funny. Uh, uh, my, livelihood. You're attacking my livelihood. <laughs> my livelihood. There's a better way to say that. That's the only word for it. What else? That really there? happened, right? I don't know. I wasn't you can dreaming. only say that word if you're holding two yes, lobster pots. <laughs> my <laughs> great grandpa did this. <laughs> Levity Live, Dave and Tell. Oh, my God. Right. Oh Look, my with God. the hopper, you watch TV when and where you want. Oh, hopper has a prime time oh, anytime. Deadliest catch over there. <laughs> Just press one button and you'll never uh, miss your favorite shows again. Technology great. Oh, but Dish knows about the price. you got to have a good price. How about uh, their packages starting at just $19.99 a month? You're going to find something that fits your life at just the right price. Uh, give them a call, please. 888-770-DISH. The number is 888-770-3474-DISH. Let's watch TV. Livelihood's the only word worse than if you just said craft. 
My crap! My crap. <laughs> crap. You actually found something more douchey. What's another word for Because I use that word a lot. You just stay away from it. Oh, that, you use the word livelihood a lot? Yeah, yeah I don't, that's one of your you crutches. How do you describe your, like, your, my, uh, my, my job? Shit, man. My job. Like, you know, you're you're not not doing my it's shit, your career. It's the money you make from your career. What, what other hey, word Joe, is it? You're lively. Hey, Joe, if, if you want to stick with that word. <laughs> <laughs> lively. Lively. That's a really yeah. annoying fucking word. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah you know. What Came you from do? a really annoying guy today. I was going to say that. God damn it. I was trying to cut you off at the past. What? What do you want? Ah, you, you peed all over the clubhouse today. I just really, <laughs> <laughs> I just, you know, I came in here. I wanted guys, guys, get a nice hang. Uh, you know, yeah. poor David Tell barely got to say anything, and you just, you just over here, you just over here crying and fucking. Walked into you a know, fucking argument. Come on, Joe. Let's go. Let's go to a CVS. I'll get you some certs and maybe a <laughs> box of feminine products, and I'll get you a couple of waffles. So maybe you, you can turn the mood around for the show tonight. Anthony's going to come down tonight. Oh, yeah. I, I, are you going to have that? some Don't drinks? Show, huh? Don't you fuck it up, Anthony? Ne I haven't hung with him in a long time. Can I have some okay? drinks. Kid me, please. Do not stand up and oh, scream yeah. at anybody. <laughs> it man. was like walking into Scared Straight before. They were just fucking yelling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's funny when you create a volatile situation on purpose, things explode sometimes. Oh, what are you talking <laughs> about, Joe? That... I didn't say bring Joe, Troy in What are you here? talking yeah. about, Joe? Joe, huh? they basically they nudged you and you you just rolled. You did a, you did like a barrel roll into this <laughs> fucking like stuntman style and just like I'm not they, the first they, they one. Only, they oh, only, oh Jesus, Dan, oh, easy, shit, Danny, easy, easy, Danny, easy. Danny tripped over a bottle on the floor. Uh, Empty uh, bottle. We shouldn't be throwing things around in here. And oh, yeah. wow. Wow. Huh? Oh, Nothing. see, so many personalities in here. I know it's like a morning zoo. Oh, or Joe, something. I think oh, you I you owe us all an apology. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Here we go again. This is going to take hours. Hours. Yeah, I think you should apologize. Because it got a little weird in here. Oh, God. It, it did take up a lot of David Tell's time. That is Me? true. Dave, I'm sorry to you. Why? Yeah. Just because I got here two hours uh, early? He has, I thought it he was has to clarify the apology. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, really? Wow. I just was smoking outside, and I figured I'd come in at some point after the, uh, you know, once I came up with the best uh, Muslim movie joke. Well, you know. <laughs> Well, I thought I had a good one. I gave it. I think Joe was doing oh, an impression of <laughs> right. all the Real Housewives. Joe, really oh, quick, yeah. an apology for everyone in the room. What no. would you say if you had to? <laughs> it's make believe. What would you say if you had to? Uh, David, tell because you took his mic time a little bit there. I mean, Dave, I'm sorry I took your mic time. Joe, apology accepted. Thank you. All right. Oh, you're fucking <laughs> fair. Couple no, fucking I, fingers. I accept bitch. your apology, and I apologize. <laughs> For, of course, this uh, mayhem today. We both didn't expect that. A young author coming in. <laughs> <It's crazy. laughs> yeah. Today was Explorer Day. Author, adventurer. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, any more apologies? No, no. I think That's Dave, it. Dave deserved Me. the brunt of it. Okay. Uh, Bill? Bill was expecting something nah, different he, he today. He doesn't care. He doesn't give a shit. Like, you know. Bill's knocked me around so many times in this show. I feel like I feel like we're even. Okay. I feel like if I if I wasted some of his time, that was fair. That was fair use at this point. Yeah, he just he, he never can see when he's in the wrong. This is like <laughs> he just uh, he doesn't see it. This is why he can't sustain a relationship. He just can't get himself to admit when he's wrong. But when you're okay. always right, what are you gonna do? You know? What are you gonna do? <laughs> this is like guys trying to pick up a check after an abortion. All right. Neither <laughs> one wants to admit. <laughs> all right. No, I I, I do regret oh, yeah, those. All right, it's all right. right. It's all right. 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 We're peeting okay. around. Uh, great over. appearance by Joe DeRosa. Just yes. amazing today. Joe, Thank you. And everybody. everyone else was just what a, all right, what a good Joe. Time. They were just all right, sir. Guys, you were the star today. Thanks so much, you, for having my me. friend. And have a great weekend to everybody Fantastic. listening. Stop being a stranger, Attel. We like I'll be you. Back. It's pretty I'll obvious at right. this point. I love it in here. All right. Come back and see us. Yeah. Sam uh, doing really his thing next. All right. Have a good weekend.